hi, a happy hoarder here and have a wonderful guest today. And how we got switched, I think I put her on first and she's on second, but it's actually, I'm doing, you know, I don't think it matters what side you're on. Isn't that weird though? I did notice that you're swapped over. <laughs> Anyway, I I know why, because you're an admin. I bet that's why it just switches over. So we're learning a lot of things about StreamYard <laughs> to this day. It's, it's an ongoing process of learning StreamYard stuff. But today, we are all feeling the love, aren't we, Nancy? So Nancy and I are inspired to do something Valentine related. And I want Nancy to talk about what she's going to do on her little thing today. So what, what's your idea today? I am making the tumbling tower block heart. That is not what I thought for some reason. I like that. I thought, and I love your crochet that you added and the, oh my goodness, that is so much more. I thought you were going to make like a 3D kind of thing. Yeah, well, that is 3D, but you know, like a basket or something. So Who yeah. Knows, I might next time. Oh, that, is <laughs> that is really cute. And I'm using one of these little, where did it go? Oh, disappeared. There's a lot going on. You've got, okay, so let me see the handle again, the little hanging thing. It's, and then she's got that bead, the beads going, adorable. And then you've got, you did the crochet because I know you crochet and, and that then, is awesome. This, and how, this, this is actually one of those little two by two squares. Yes. That, that uh -huh. I hole punched and then crocheted around. Did I see it now. I do, what a great idea. I am finding a lot of stuff. Hey, Robin, thanks for joining us. And we're going to say hey to everybody here in a second. That is such a good idea. Ever since Connie and, and Robin, who just popped on ISD, is, uh, mentioned this doing this yarn thing, or you're doing the yarn, right? Because I saw you on the uh, on, on our group. Is uh, yeah. I've been looking for like different things you can do with yarn, and I've gotten some really great ideas on that as well. So that is the cutest thing. And so if you're like Robin, who's new to uh, crocheting, little projects like that can be very rewarding. And I really hope you kind of look into doing some of these things. In fact, I saw something really cute that someone had done that is amazing. And the heart in the middle. Now, did you crochet the heart for in as well, or was that attached separately? No, it, it's attached to the top. Okay. Now I saw a pattern where you actually start with the heart. Oh, it's like a clover leaf on the back. Where you start with a heart shape and you and then you go it transfers into a whatever you kind of morph, I guess, or whatever you do. You <laughs> segue into the granny square and it was really cute. So that's another so many little cute things you can do. You don't have to do something, you know, massive like a sweater. There's a lot of sweet little things. So Robin, I, I saw a lot of great videos. I think you need to check them out. And, and what I did notice in different people's videos, and we're getting a little off topic here, is that, well, she's crocheting, so it's really not off topic, was the uh, way people hold their uh, yarn is a little bit different, but you do need to create a way of running it through your fingers. Like, I don't know if I could just, if I could just pick it up real quick and do it. Let's see. Because I have to, probably have to have the hook. Pretend it's a hook. Yeah, so mine goes around this finger. Wait, I, I can't even, you do it so subconsciously. And mine does like this. This is how I do it, hold mine, I think. I seem to recall. Just, it does go around that finger. You just have to create that tension. And then I work from here. So I don't have a whole lot of twisting going on. But that is something you do have to do, Robin. I'm just, I know, we're picking on Robin today. But Robin's doing such an awesome job because she is always willing to try something new. And I love it. And if you had a chance to see her live stream with that heart, awesome job. That was so creative. I love it. But getting back to what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, yeah. So nothing about you. We'll talk about me. This is how I, I use my, uh, I just put yeah, it over, that. under, over. Uh, well, that's what I said. I noticed people were holding it differently. It's all, but you had to create some sense of... Uh, I bought needles. Oh, you did. She bought knit needles. Girl, I wouldn't even try to knit right now. I'm just not. I do want to learn, but I have a knitting machine thing. I want a knitting machine. That would be hours of fun. But I want a, um, I have a knitting loom. So I'm going to try that first. I've never used it, so I'm going to try it. So what I did is I took, I did a little prep work because I knew this was something I want to just paint today and not do all this part. So I got this from CJ. Thank you so much for sending this to me. So CJ sent me a whole bunch of goodie bags and a bunch of stuff. But unfortunately, the tree on this was broken because it just got you know, broken during things shifting around. And I broke the tree off and then I just glued the hearts and I prepped it with some 
very sad looking. I've had it forever. Wood sealer that I'm just about out of. So wood sealer is great because it does give you a little bit of a prime. You don't have to just use that wood seal. You can use uh, other products as well. But I, I just want to use that up. But what I did is I added these today and they, they're really thin and they got one, they curled. They're horrible. They're not sticking down. And you see they're kind of going down a little bit. Yeah. So this was kind of a fail. I don't know if I can get this to work. So I'm, not, I'm trying probably stick my glue gun this is going to and stuff but i oh you're frozen I, you're frozen or it's no. cold no okay who's frozen and then robin says she's frozen so let me i think right. she's frozen because of the weather oh yeah <laughs> i'm trying so to get i did I, in the course of all of this i want to thank robin and you know connie for this so y'all please go check them out check out what they're they're putting together and i uh if robin can post a link because she is one of my moderators about their uh if y'all have anything posted on youtube about it yet let us know and she also knows the title which is really cute and i can't remember what, exactly what it says because i don't want to mess it up so write down what that is but it was very inspiring oh, oh good oh see i've been having an internet issues too so we're just gonna keep that that's why i'm actually on uh, wi-fi today versus my uh, ethernet so it could be interesting but i started thinking about all these different yarn crafts i've done over the years and and so i'm really excited about this little challenge we're doing because they're letting it they're leaving it open to different yarn crafts so there's a lot out there and one of the things i love making if you've ever made any of these people please put a little note in here give me i don't know or something this is a god's eye and this is one of my favorite things to teach oh, I've, I, I did that when I, I was a little kid i know but you know what this is one of my best teaching tools for my artists my i, I usually do this with the gift and talented students because i i incorporate this into my color theory because i tell them to do it in certain things well now i've kind of switched to mandalas with my bigger groups but with my smaller groups this is great because you do have to kind of teach them how to do all these different twists and different things so mm -hmm. this was very simple and i just did it backwards and forwards so i do have kind of a little bit of a depth going on in here that y'all can kind of see so i put this quick one together because typically this is how we start but yeah so i think this was something fun that i've done with yarn in the past i also do the sticks where i just get all bunch of sticks and try you know string them together. I, I don't know if you could see the see it uh-huh did These you are cut, the, you're cutting those or they're all the right yeah, out of the box they're right out of the box but i don't know if you, i'm trying to get to the camera okay there goes that one mm -hmm. right from the same box go down a little bit there we go yeah you gotta find that i know they're not okay. all uh-uh what kind of difference I did, yeah, I did something recently and I had the same problem. They were different sizes. So I want to say hey to Liz and Sarah from Sunflower DIY and Robin is here. And I think Hi, I, oh, I saw Andy Hi, was on. Larry was on here early. We kind of did a little hello, hellos. So hey to everybody who's here and thank you for being on. And so I just look, we're working on uh, heart related things. And I tried to set up my side camera here. And of course, the, I am still not proficient at setting up a side camera that is not making a weird noise and i haven't i haven't had time to do this new technique that i learned about but mm -hmm. i did find one video that said to do it one way and i know annie was having some trouble too and then there was a recap of that video saying uh oh, we did it wrong you need to do this instead and it was about your audio so there are some tricks to this and we're gonna figure it out one day but so right now i'm basically just gonna be doing a video of what i'm doing and so i can post it later on the plaid so great challenges coming up i want to say a little shout out to those about the plaid uh, i love plaid challenge coming up so excited to be part of that and, and I hopefully found a way to incorporate this one into it if I get it done. <laughs> and then um, the yarn and there's a lot more involved ones. I, I am trying to take a little bit of a break. I do have a doll challenge coming up. And if there's a little bit of time, maybe I'll get to work on that. But I want to say, I want to say, so, hi, Annie, because I want to talk about this. This was kind of an interesting thing I learned. So I'm working with the foam clay that my sweet friend Annie sent me because she said, you will love this. And I do. But what I've learned, you really kind of have to work with it in little layers if you're doing something big. So that was something I just recently found out. It works so much better to put thin layers and let it dry. And everything from detail and all that. So I kind of did one, I'm working on a doll, so I did a doll shoe and a glove. 
out of this and what happened with the shoe the shoe kept getting bigger and bigger i was like what is going on it's like inflating but it's because the shell was getting smaller and smaller so like the outer shell and then as it dried on the outside the inside was like expanding so i was losing some of my my details and i think it's gonna be okay once it's completely dry but it's been 25 24 hours and it's kind of puffy so this is working for me, layering that on is because it is a pretty big piece that I'm making. It's going to be about mm, you know, one inch by two inch, but the layer is definitely making a difference. Just letting you know. All right. So let me get me some white. I need a white. Let's get white. Uh, Delta ceramic. Oh, good old fashioned. Just let it right on it. Let's do I, I'm trying to get rid of some of my older colors. I think I, they do still make Snow White, correct? Correct. Snow White. Do you see my Snow White? So I'm making a video over here. Scott, my Snow White. Because you know what? I'm making a white truck. I decided I'm doing it. White truck. I just thought it'd be sweet. So in the course of just doing a bunch of little craft projects lately, I um, I got kind of out of the, I started out crafting, ended up being an artist. Just started having some fun with it, doing some really crazy stuff. And I have this one thing to give you an example, and I will do more in the video that I'm doing about techniques, weird little techniques that I use. My uh, glaze that I'm using, which is this diamond glaze, it's kind of acting like if you put it on correctly, which I'm apparently not, um, it, it look, oh my gosh, resin, looks like resin. So here's, a, see my glass, look at that glaze on there, isn't that awesome? But as I putting on, you see like little bubbles get in there and it just wrecks mm -hmm. it. But that is my favorite term, by the way, wrecks it is my, my new thing from uh, Robin. So she says that all the time, I love it. I'm adding I got, I got this glossy accents. That does it's the same probably thing. the same thing. Yeah, this bottle. I don't know how old that bottle is. But I've had it. Well, I've been doing dolls since 17. I've had it since 2017. It's great. So what I'm doing is adding a lot of different stuff to it. I mean, I don't just paint it. I take, I have charcoal, I have pencil, and I'm doing scratching and things like that just to make it look really rough. Because the day I was doing this, my heart wasn't full of happiness and joy. It was a little bit dark. A little bit on the dark side so yeah sometimes we just have dark hearts and we got to probably we got to be an artist we've got to paint them dark hearts because it's fun so that that may be the title of mine dark jerry and her little dark heart <laughs> so i did i got a lot done though i was really on the roll and i really enjoyed if you're like i am not in the mood to paint valentine's i really enjoyed using the heart <coughs> as my canvas to just do some other stuff and so that was fun so i encouraged that I am making this Annie. I'm just trying to see uh, this way. Making yeah, this so she, yeah, isn't that the sweet? Oh, yeah. It, it, did you have it hanging in the background, I think? Did you have it hanging? I yeah, but, I, see but I, I, I lowered the camera. Oh, okay. So, so I need to do mine as well. I'm going to kind of drop mine down a little bit so you can see what I'm up to. My, my painting here. So I noticed you have that. Um, I think it's the same one I have in the back, the little drawer system that's from from michael's is that from michael's yeah it's like a bunch of little wooden drawers with the and you ordered those little pulls right it just comes plain and you order those cute little file pulls or what no, no this or one they all the, the time yeah the white one. one yeah lift your camera up a minute so we can see something because i like yeah i love that where'd you get that it's one it's not it's not individual drawers i thought it was oh yeah yeah see my it's, mine. it's, it's one drawer Okay, my mind is. It's is divided. It's divided on the inside. Yeah, but the outside is. is oh, I see. Well, I was a, looking, and it had the little poles on it and everything when you got yeah, it. Um, hey, it, it you have, you have to assemble it somewhere. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bill. Pretty, it comes in a flat box, and you have to assemble it. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's pretty easy. It's just like wood glue kind of thing, or is it? Uh, um, some little um screws and some some little brads. Okay. Yeah, I like that piece. I was thinking about making the one that everybody's making from the Dollar Tree squares. Yeah, the little bitty individual drawers. I've seen a lot of those. I really oh, I, like it. I gotta show you the one I made. I, I have a lot of small stuff. I just I have a lot of things that would fit in little boxes. Hold on a second, JJ. Come here. So my son is here today, and he is working in the barn. I don't know if you can hear him, but he is in there being an artist himself. He's got the Dremel going. So he is working on his, he oh my gosh, the Star Wars, all that Star Wars stuff you made. You don't be on the camera. Go. So I don't have much paint. Every time I go down in this bottle, I just make a bigger mess. I know, it's so bad. 
it is old and kind of dried out. But for what I'm doing, I just need it for a base coat. I sound good. The I need to work on the wall first. Do y'all sand your your woodworking things first? Because Sam send bumps on here. I don't really. Sometimes do. if it's if it's rough, the these uh -huh. Jenga blocks are not that rough, so I, uh -huh. I don't sand it. Oh, well, getting back to the the, the the blocks, let me show you what I had because you were talking about that. I said, oh, I got a great idea. And I thought about doing like a basket or something mm -hmm. by gluing these together. And I've had these. Y'all look at them. They're that old. Look how yellow the, cell the plastic is. Yeah, since the 90s, <laughs> guys. Since the 90s. I hang on to stuff. This is for joy being a hoarder. But aren't they cool? And the things I could build with this. So here's the, here's the one I made. Oh, you! Oh my gosh, I love it the most because I love your opening in the middle. And then yeah, I, I, I put a little stuff in here. It's hanging on my wall. It and look at your little child. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest one I have seen. I okay, bought yeah. these on Amazon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got tons of pulls that are just weird pulls. So that's and cute. then these are Dollar Tree chalk. I love that, and those come like several in a box, don't? I mean, don't you get like? How many of those little chalkboard things do you I get? I think either five or eight. Yeah. How have you done a video on this? Yeah. I then, love on the that back. Thing. I just put a piece of plywood so you wouldn't see all the unevenness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Hey, you definitely need to put a link um, into the when you get a chance. Put a link in about that. So yeah. So this is something cute to work with. But then I have a ridiculous amount of these. And I have baskets made out of this. These are just those little stir sticks or popsicle sticks. So I have all these baskets. I had, And I had this gorgeous lamp. Somebody made, I thrifted it. And I sold it for a lot of money at my shop. But Mom. my goodness, this stuff is fun to glue. And then I had the big ones somewhere in here. So I had the big ones. I know. So much fun to work with. So if you don't have those Jenga blocks and you want to do some glue and some things together, does you can use as well. Just for fun. Monkey, one more thing. And so, um, Sarah and Stace joined us. Hi, Stace. Awesome. I see, say everybody uh, later. Uh, so tonight, yes, yeah, so more things going on. Is it tonight? Somebody's ones. going. Who's going live tonight? The, Is it Connie? Show. No, not this one. Hi, Carmen. Hi, how are show. you? At the Black Book Show, there's a Thanks for one is like this and one that's six. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Say that again. No, I'm talking about to my son. Okay. So I think tonight, right? Or is that Thursday night? Is Connie, what night is Connie and uh, Robin going on there? I think it's tonight. No, or was it yesterday? I don't know. No. I guess I was thinking. Was that yesterday? Because I was watching. Wow. I hope no, I missed it. If it was, I did watch. I did watch hers. No, oh, it's tonight. If it's tonight, oh, it's Thursday. Okay, that's right. Because so Thursday, I have. I'm going to pretty much. I think I'm going to go live. I will let y'all know probably when the day comes. What's going to happen? I'm mm -hmm. planning on going live on Thursday like I normally do, but keep it short because I will, I'm hoping not to be home. I'm hoping to be on my way to see uh, Annie. Come here. And we're going to stop at a friend's and go visit them on the way. we got friends to stay on the way and friends to stay on the boat. We're on a little trip. Just got to get away. The weather's hopefully going to hold up for airplanes. So we're hoping for that. Yeah, I have like an ugly place on this. I should have sanded it. It's gross. I don't know. But I'm going to have a lot of paint on this. So I'm not worried. So, yeah, I love this piece that she made. That is one of the cutest. I, I've seen some really cute ones, but I'm telling you. And I've seen a lot of people who are actively using theirs. I'm looking at the background. Is that because I really think they're not, they're they're so expensive to buy, and that's really not bad paying that a um, dollar a piece for the squares. When you look at the different ones that you have to, to buy, how expensive they are, and you can custom make them to fit your spaces. And if you're familiar with my spaces, there is just all over the place. So I'm thinking something like right here, like in this little area, they have drawers. And I have like a whole big grid. I'm going to measure it out and see if I can figure it out. To make it I see that works, what she's got. You can put some little... Here's that another one. So precious. I'm, yeah. I, okay, so I'm loving your, oh, and your little studs on the side. How did you make those? Is that wood? 
No, this is um those those uh adhesives dots from Dollar Tree that I just painted over. Unbelievable. So let me see the front. Your decoupage is beautiful. What did you get? Is that a napkin or was that some tissue? Or scrapbook right? paper. Oh my goodness. I and love they, that. They, and these are um pieces of Jenga that I cut down for the handles. That I look at this. Unbelievable. I got my hair in my paint again. Oh, that is so cute. I've made I made several different ones. Here's another one. This one's full. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I do like that one. So that's um that's a, okay. So do you like that's better than the one you bought from um the store from well, the, the, the one the one I got from um, Michael's yeah. the bigger drawers. So they if are, I find something they, that has bigger they drawers, drawers, they're but, deeper. Because mm -hmm. I like uh, the individual drawers. That, oh, no, see, that is a thing, though. They are deeper. That is, Those things really aren't that I'll be, deep. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. So it's nice to have a, it's a helper. So I'm the slowest painter in the world today. I just might. This thing, even though I put this stuff on it, is still, like, really dragging my brush. It's taking me a while to get it painted. Can y'all hear the dremel in the background? Bzz. I'm so happy to have such creative children. It's wonderful. They're very content with their little creativity. Oh, there's another one I made. This one's um. Oh, that's beautiful. The color is so pretty. And those are our skewer sticks. I'm okay. This y'all, you she is so amazing. Look at this. I, I put the and you know I love my skewers. I love them. So that is the cutest. Looks like bamboo. Mm hmm and look how she finished the back even and then your squares are just those little square the feet are the, just the, square, the, the dollar tree squares mm -hmm. and then again i got these um little pulls from the um amazon are you did you is this, this one holds using, teas right that's what i was gonna say is anyone using it for like sp teas or spices and yeah, things this, like one, that? this one has that all my so teas in it you see mm-hmm so I would say that's one of my favorite things I've seen at the Dollar Tree that and I didn't buy, and I really need to get some because Make them put them back, I, I, please. I gotta wait until I get till February though. I have to, and I can order them for now. I've seen them online, so if I, even if I can't find them, I can order like twenty four. So I gotta commit to something pretty big. I Is got um twelve of the um, Michaels boxes. They're they're similar, but they're a tad bit bigger. Mm hmm. How much are theirs? Well, I they don't care. I guess they don't carry them anymore because they were on clearance for a dollar. Okay. Okay. So this is the 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 Michaels box, right? Okay. And then if you can see the difference in size. Mm -hmm. oh, oh wow, that is nice. So that big one that I made with the opening in the middle is uh -huh. um, from the dollar um, Michaels boxes. Yeah, I do like that. Those I can tell the difference. Those are a little bit better quality. Pretty. That's really good quality. Yeah, that's and, that one. And the corners, are, you see, the corners are mitered. Yes, and which made them very squared up. Well, it was the other thing I noticed. Some people have made theirs; they they weren't perfectly square. And like I know, I have one that I got at Rolling Hills, just one of the drawer sets, you know, mm -hmm. the boxes. And the so, drawer is what is kind of wacky. You see the drawers here. Then, then this one here has that big old gap there. Yeah, that's why mine were really gappy. But how funny, I mean, like, hey, if you've been to my studio, it's a hot mess anyway. So I'm, got, I'm yes. kidding you from your work. Let's get you back to your work. So <laughs> I know, because you got you got a big thing. Have you already crocheted your hearts and things like that? And you're, and you're just gonna no, they, 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 don't, they won't take me long. Okay. And you are hot gluing, correct? No, I'm using wood glue. Okay. Yeah, I see mine's that this one set up, but this one did not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the for hot glue. Oh my gosh, can I get up under there with some hot glue? Probably not. No, I need a little bit. Yeah. Just need the, the, the talking helped a lot because the, the pieces are dry now. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just know how to. That's one thing about working in your studio in your old spaces is that you can start that and then while that's drying you can go work on for your example be, getting your beads ready and things like that Monkey. so let me put that one back to my um thank you i'm not gonna have good luck gluing on i'm um, see if that will hold that down and then the, hopefully the glue go oh, we did it i'm having yeah I, I rub my fingers on top of these blocks to make sure that the same width and height mm -hmm. 
Cause yeah, well, that would not be a fun Jenga game if your Jenga blocks aren't the same. Well, that's no. for sure. Clue hair on everything. I, wa I wonder who's the, who thought of building with them first. Because oh, I love it. I know, and you have made the most incredible stuff with your furniture. Oh. Did you finish your doll? You know, the acquiring minds want to know if you finished um, your golden girl. No, I, I started. I started her her body. Here's her. her this is her. Oh, this is one leg. Yeah. And this is the other. And to do the other leg. Yeah, and you said the biggest problem with her was the smaller stitches. So one thing I noticed. Let me see your hook real quick. Someone has a handle, and I don't. I need to go back and find out where they got that thing. But you know, like for my pencils, you have like a yeah. universal handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it, so it, all those different sizes fit in, so you don't get the hand strain. So I have need to. Mine have um these bamboo um handles. Yeah. So okay. you're, not, you're not crocheting with this uh, this thin little aluminum. Right. So, and then how did the different sizes fit inside that? Oh, they, they all come like this. Okay. So when you get to the larger hooks. Yeah. They're, they're bigger. Well, this one was something that you kind of add after the fact, because I have, I have hooks that I've had since I was a kid. I have some teeny tiny hooks too. See here, for this like is the. Lace, for like crochet and lace. Not that I could ever do. This is do. the M. You see the uh -huh. difference? So yeah, but handle. what it was is, yeah, you had to get bigger. So all of the little handles were this. There was one handle for all your stuff, and you just adjust it, probably kind of like you do a drill bit kind of adjustment. You like probably do something down on it to make it work. But I kind of was liking that. I thought that was a great idea. Oops, something fell. I've got all my basic stuff here, my base colors first, and this was my very old bottle of just apple butter black. Yay. But I, I am trying to use it. So, hey, Glenda's here. Glenda, early in the morning in lovely Australia. How's the weather there? Probably awesome. So, wait, it's a great idea. She does. A great idea um, on the, on the, um, all that storage stuff. So cute. Um, and my hearts have red. I wanted pinks. You get some pinks. Because I'm trying to just get in the Oh, no. I started to crack it. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's a bad thing. That's a rosy pink. I think I'm going to try rose bouquet. Ooh, you got it on the video? Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a nice color. Yeah, I think. I don't know. We'll see. It's, mo it's kind of <laughs> mobby. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I may not. Oh, it's getting thick, too. Oh, it is cold. It got cold in the studio. We got paint all over the floor now. Okay, now yes, I have been very creative with my storage. I, it is kind of funny how some things come together, and you know, like I have my little suitcases and things like that. But I really, really want one of those amazing storage things where you have um, all your suitcases fit into a certain slot. It's one mm -hmm. of my dreams. One of my things. My fantasies. I like the those. Um, I forgot what they're called now. Oops. Something box. I forgot what it's called now. Uh, I have a cedar chest. Be like a hope chest kind of thing, or what? No, it's one of those. It's it's it, when you close it up, you don't see um all your mess. Oh, those big it, white things, those big craft things. You always yes. See stuff. I and, know. And, and then um, but I wouldn't have mine closed because I'm more always cr um crafting so. Well, I just like all the other little nooks and crannies and bins and uh -huh, stuff. Like that. that is, and it, but yeah, it's kind of built. I was really looking at it. It's built definitely for somebody who works with a lot of small, so good for fabric. I mean, you could because you could fold most of your fats, that kind of fabric. Yeah, but if you're trying to do like if you work big pieces of fabric, but you can put a lot of small stuff in it. And which I'm working around how to store my small stuff right now. That is the thing. Well, it's just a dream because those things cost over two thousand dollars. Wait, now wait, I always see them advertised like you can get them for so cheap. But what is that about? Has anyone checked into that? It sounds so like those cheap scam. ones are scams. Yeah, that's what I thought. When they say $199, yeah. that's, that's a scam. Yeah, that's what I thought. So people yeah. are like, I ordered it and I didn't get it. Well, uh, hello. Uh -huh. The real uh -huh. ones are, are you know, $2,000 and you think that you're going to get it for less? Right. 
they have they have the um the little smaller ones like for sewing they mm -hmm. call it a work box that you can put your sewing machine on top right right but i know my daughter like got something i don't think it's that she got something similar to that for uh christmas All right, I have another shade that I like in here. I have a purple. Hmm. You know what I do? Instead, let me just do, yeah, I think I'm just going to do my fun hearts. I'm going to do my, okay, so basically a normal person, a normal person, which is over <laughs> here, I paint these all these little happy colors. I'm going to get a little dark on my, I have a white truck, but it doesn't mean my hearts are going to look that <laughs> and dark again on this. No, I just kind of looking at my stuff as I was painting, I went, that is so not my house. <laughs> What has happened to me? Oh, I've got gothic hearts now everywhere. Yes, yep, we're going to take my sweet little one. white truck and we're going to turn it to a gothic truck. I was about to glue it to the wrong piece. Yeah. Sometimes the decisions on which to paint red and which to paint white can be so confusing. We're just going to try. I, I was do, I'm part of a mystery box challenge. Um, yep, now I'm cleaning my brush. Yes, hey, Sarah's we... here. She jumped on over here. And she can DIY, by the way. If anyone ever asked, can Sarah DIY? Heck yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you? Oh, my goodness. She has, um, everything she touches is like another person who's just, it's gold. It's just gold. That was such a cute cool thing. Tip, I, um, I, you know, sorry we had to bow out of that one early, but. Got plants, got some stuff. Yeah, I'm just mixing my colors here, making weird colors because it's going to get weirder. About no, I'm just trying to arrange them to, to look like the, the one I made. Yes, there's how other people craft and how Jerry crafts. It's her own thing. Definitely. Now, hey, so I was. Not, so not everybody can craft the same because then that would be very boring. Mm -hmm. So I had, I got my little round thing to put paint in, you know, and you mix, I have no idea where I ended up sticking it in the end. A lot of the times, I'm just going to use one of these. I love these things so much. And if you watch other things of mine, you know, I grab these a lot and they're the best. So I've got these thrifting, but if you know somebody does Mary Kay, this is like one of those little Mary Kay things. And they're awesome. I'll mix my colors. Let me see. Am I in the video? I'm in the video. I'm in the screen. Okay, good. You know me. I love my floating medium. It's just my thing. And who has tried, a, who has gone out and purchased a floating medium at this point? Because I keep telling you to do it. And you're just not listening. I'm, I'm waiting for, for, for my Christmas to arrive. So I can get them. I thought that, that was about out of paint. I thought I'd use it up. You're waiting for your what? Christmas. Oh, your Christmas? You order so you order some stuff at Christmas for in no, we we we, we were a little low on on funds on Christmas. Oh, that's true. You got to get over that. Well, and that's the I'm taking. So, I don't need any more floating medium because I I stuck up on it every time I see some at a thrift store or whatever. I grab it because I don't think a lot of people know what to do with it. So they buy it and then they never use it, and then I'm like, oh. Good for me. It I had some I years ago. Because it's like a gel. You know, is it really? Oop, and I say that, and then I got this one is the closed. I had, I had that years ago when, um, when I oh, used to paint a lot. Beautiful. And this is, look, see, so, 75 cents. And this is by Folk Art. I paid 75 cents at my favorite thrift store that I have <laughs> not been to. Nope, I've been good. And, of course, you're going to make your heart dark. You're going to need a really good dust of black for that, don't you? Oh, that's a good desk. And to make it interesting. I've grabbed some. There you go. That's I better. have brushed metal. I kind of like in this. I'm going to add, no, or silver. Maybe I want a little metallic in it. So this was the brushed metal that I got from, um, from plaid. Brushed metal. Doo -doo. Another good color. There's a color called graphite, and, and I like that color a lot. But it is a multi. Oh man, I just made a mess. So I'm. It's a good multi-surface paint that came with it. I love this color, but I will tell you, anytime you add it to another color, I do see it get all the colors kind of cool out pretty fast. There's something in this color gray that just blues it up a little bit. You know, makes it a little bit. Um, maybe tries to keep warm colors going. 
I, I've noticed it cooled it up, but it's great if you're using silver, not so much if you're adding some gold. And it's really thick. Oh, this stuff paint is awesome. But I do love this graphite color. And I just got it in my red. I'm right, looking so. for my sketchbook that I do my doodles on. Mm -hmm. I can't find my large one. Oh, no. Your large wait, sketchbook, you said? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's not in any of my cubbies because it's too big for my cubbies. Mm -hmm. I looked on top of my shelves. I couldn't find them on top of my shelves. So I don't know where I put it. So I pick on um, Robin sometimes about dab dabbing, but this is a dab dab technique you definitely want to do on this because I want the color to be really mixed up. Not, I don't want to blend. I want it to be all broken up. And so I'm putting, I'm dabbing, I'm dab dabbing. Dab dab. And I'm definitely putting some darks down here in order to kind of create that shadow that I need. And so I'm putting a lot of dark down first. Cause I was thinking of doing once a week or twice a month. I mean, Either once a week or twice a month, mm -hmm. doing some some doodles and doing a, a time lapse. I know, me too. That, I did. For, I, for, you know, with music and stuff. Right. I thought I, that was one of my things for this year. I want to draw more. I'm not doing a lot of drawing, and I really need to work on my people skill. Draw my people skills. Jerry needs to work. It's not a good people person right now. I'm not drawing good people. They look weird. So I was definitely wanting to do that some more face sketching and things like that. Here's know. here's the one I started last year, but never uh -huh. continued. Well, okay, we got to do it. We got to do it. Oh, that is amazing. And then what pencils are you using? Oh, that's not like alcohol markers. What this is watercolor. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Have you tried the alcohol markers? I have some, but I haven't used them on my on my drawings yet. Mm -hmm. well, don't wait because it could dry up. That happens to me. That's what we got. Nancy's welcome to my world, lol. I can't find anything, but she just can't find anything. Yeah, I know. <gasps> Deb is on here. Hey, Deb. Um, uh, yeah, so she has, so she hit the rolling heels. Wait, you want to get back because it's jumping up. I have a dejunk card. Oh, no. So it's hard. Oh, she's, okay. Yes, it's, if you try to do one in and one out, yeah, that's hard. And who was telling us about doing one in uh, and doing like a bunch out, like seven out or whatever? Like, I wish I could get organized enough to do that. So when my husband is cut, gets home, I have taken over his office with boxes that I needed to break down. And mm -hmm. I got the butt first disease and I came upstairs to do something to get. Oh, I think I came up. No. I, so what happened? Because this is how my brain is working right now. So <laughs> went up the I came in. Okay. I needed a box cutter. So where do you think I went to go look for a box cutter out in the barn? So what happened when I went in the barn? I saw something shiny. I saw a squirrel and I had to play with that squirrel for a little bit. And then I was like, oh, it's late. No, I'm not going to go back downstairs. And I forgot the knife. Okay. And then I go today. He's like, okay, well, I'm on my way home. And I'm like, oh my gosh, your room is like full of junk. So yeah, I got to get on that after but this. Done. Yes. All right. One, two, three. I like a really gross looking hearts and they're really dark and weird, but hey, they're not done yep. yet. Um, um, you don't get a chance to whoa get paint in your lap like I do. I am taking my oh, because I do love my skewers, and I like to kind of scratch in them and scratch into my paint. And it may not show on this camera because I don't have enough contrast right now. There's a good one, and you kind of let it set up a minute and dry. Then even though, but that's oh, it's showing up really great on that one. So I'm just kind of having some fun with this right there. And just putting some texture into my artwork. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. I got it working now. Just wanted a break. So I'm going to let that set up for a minute. And then I can add more color on top of that and stuff like that. We're going we're gonna to dress the truck real quick. <laughs> I give this truck some personality. I'm going to do this. Yeah, it's going to be a, by the time I get that old beat up truck, but. We can't help. You can't. Oh, you know what? I should have base coated my with the color. So when you're working with silver, a good color to base coat silver with is probably white. If you want, depending on what you want. But you know, like with gold, red is always a good color. Uh, you want you have to base coat it with something because so it'll pop because it will do that. It just blends and you'll paint, you'll paint, you'll paint. So I gotta go back and do this. 
Um, Good to know. Yeah, you do have to put a knot. You had to put a color behind it, especially on your golds. Like I said, the reds, yellows work as well. Yeah, I know I'm getting paint everywhere. It's okay. So I'm going to get fixed in a minute. These blocks, like I said, they're, they're not all even. Mm -hmm. So you have all these gaps in between. But I just use my wood glue and drop it in. Now, granted, the thing I was making was very um, rustic anyway. I wasn't, and somebody had made these little uh, stakes for plants, definitely, you know, to name your plant, identify your, your, you know, mm -hmm. for your garden. And I picked those up at Rolling Hills. So, um, I was working with those, and yeah, they were totally uneven, and it was kind of hard to work with for what I did, but I just had to roll with it. That's all I could do. I was, because I saw this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Someone made the, a similar heart, but they did added words to theirs. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a picture. And I had some rub-on um, rub words. Yeah, but I, I I didn't have enough to cover it up to, and I, and I wasn't about to cut um, with my cricket a bunch of those little words and weed them and so I, I mean y'all are like cringing now at my at my truck. Give it a minute, it'll come back. You know, I just mm -hmm. got to get a little dark first, I like my darks. Yeah. Um, Let me see. I decided what to use the Scrabble tiles. Uh huh. Oh yeah. So I made it a little different. I did. I like how you did that name. Okay, so. Oh, Grandma Sandy's on. I'm really good about reading these. So let me go back and see what people. Oh, thank you so much. We're going to do a little reading while I'm making a mess. So, Sarah, I'm going to go back up to Nancy. Welcome to my world. I like that. Can't find anything. So, um, uh, and then Nancy, that is amazing. Yes, yeah, she is amazing. And she is so good at this. I did not know things I didn't know until I met Nancy. I did not realize you could like slap those things together so fast. I just don't have that kind of luck. But the things she's built out of these, I, I'm just <laughs> just loving them. It really makes you, you, you want a sneak peek at Friday's video? Do we? Yes, we do. That's why we're here. Yes, we do. Um, let's see. Deb says, "Hey, Stace." Ah, uh, and all the time. it's a it's a ah! fair wheel. Unbelievable. Un now what now what prompted that my dad got my mom a cupcake holder no from Walmart that is a ferris wheel yes and, and she put um succulents in them i think that is oh that's even cuter but that cupcake thing that is so sweet oh, so when, when i saw his i'm like oh, i can do that with the, mm -hmm. with the with the jingle blocks yes it took me a while to figure out how to, how to get it all together. I need to get a, an actual drill because I, I don't have an actual drill. We you know what you know what you need to get an actual drill. Yes, because um, the little seats inside mm -hmm. they're all crooked because the the holes are not even. Okay, so it it doesn't turn. Are you, are you going to put succulents in yours? Now this has the um the let stuff me, in let it. Me, let me bring the map. Bring it down. Let's see, bring it up a little bit. I mean, you can put the actual succulents in the plant, which don't, what do they do? They don't need any water or they need a lot of water? I don't know. I no. guess with everything. Y'all have the uh, mine's are fake. I don't oh, have a green oh thumb. Oh, my gosh. Even cuter. Okay. Yeah, much easier to take care of. So let's see what Gra Marla Sandy had a really cute thing to say. She said, oh, my gosh, you're doing so well. I really love the flower. Do you need to keep, you need to keep it up? I really love the blank. The, I don't know what flower, flower, like. I think that's my sketch. Yeah. Hey, I was a W. Okay, you're right. Yes, you do. All the time. Okay, so you guys are awesome. You always come up with great ideas. And by the way, uh, Sandy did the sweetest thing. She went and posted some, some of her favorite uh, channels. Uh, I think she does often. Oh, I oh my gosh. That is that's, what, I, that's what I'm going to do with the time lapse. That is, I love those things. And that is something I try to get my students to do all the time, you know, just kind of keep a journal going, that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. things like that are great. Those like all doodles. Yeah. It's like you said, it's just doodling. So this artist that I always subject my students to because he's young and he's really very, very G rated. So I can show it at school and his stuff is amazing. You know, he just says, get on there and start, just start drawing, just get up and start drawing something. And you oh, will set your day off in a more creative way. And sometimes last year was my first time doing watercolor. I yeah, and like full 
full flown i mean like everything down to the bottom you know like entire paintings or are you just playing like little what we call watercolor washes and things like that what did you i do? i bought i bought a little um kit i, I don't mm -hmm. i don't i can't see where i put it now but it, it comes with with the, the paints that, that slide out like a, a fan yeah and then um I, I i did that oh i love that and then i got some watercolor um paint brushes mm -hmm. it's more so dark it's, it's all it's new dark. oh y'all are watching this thing again okay here we go i thought i had it down again but i didn't I have it ready. Sorry guys, I'm I'm working around. I'm like trying to see this, and I had to look. I had to pick it up so I can see what she's doing too, and read y'all's things. Oh, here we go. Yes, we are going to figure out this camera situation. I had I had a more. I bought this little kit here. Mm hmm. Up here, there. Oh yeah, that is so, great. Now, do you do any kind of stamping? Do you have any stamps? Like rubber stamps? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you'll see a lot of people will paint their stamps, you know. Mm -hmm. And so they'll do the little stamps and then do a lot of painting on it. Like I have this one, the bow bunny. Well, I like those. Now, I was talking to, um, I'm trying to explain that to Annie briefly about the silicone. Do you have the uh, silicone stamps? Do you have the piece of acid, I mean, what's it called? Acrylic that you stick those on? These? Yes, that's that's why I was trying to explain it. So you take them off and you just use what you need and then you keep your um that way you don't have a whole bunch of blocks. It's a bit it's very much of a space saver, but you want to put those on your silicone first, right? Can you explain how that goes? You're probably better at it than I'm still kind of new to it. I'll, I'll, I'll show it. I can't find mine. I found all my wooden ones, but I keep them in a separate. I was because I was selling them. I was going to put them on eBay because I really don't use them. But when we started doing all this fun stuff, I thought, yeah, I'm going to grab. I'm going to go ahead and get them and play with them some. But those are in a different container somewhere in my world. I think so they're. All you, all you do is pull them off the sheet here. Mm -hmm. This one's new, so it's it's. There you go. And they're like and they're like a three me kind of thing, you know. I mean, they keep sticking. They they're they just keep on sticking. Yeah. So you just put it on like that, and then it's ready to stamp. Mm hmm And then when you finish, yeah. you just take it off and, and go to the next stamp. Right and then you put your other big stamp on. So that I is. I have I have bigger ones and I have little ones too. Mm hmm Yeah, that's the thing. They could usually get a kit, a set of them that are different sizes for that reason. Mm -hmm. So that you can, don't always have to use a big stamp because you want to be able to get in little areas. Sometimes you might be trying to get something in a small inside something. All right, so I'm gonna have, probably have to get. And I just more. got this this um, what do you call it? Stamping pad. Mm -hmm. Where you put this the rubber stamp here. That way, if you, have, if you have a big one, right? And, I and seen when you that. put it down, it doesn't touch your paper until you actually press down. Oh my and goodness! Then you, and then you can rub that and. and makes a lot of sense because that we can position it okay nice uh -huh. this is uh better and better and better they and call better. it a precision press from we are memory uh -huh. keepers i found it at um tuesday morning okay so i had we have a tuesday morning um near here in the next town over but the one near me that was 30 minutes north of me closed uh -huh. down no oh i was so sad so the next one's about an hour away oh there it is okay indy's on so good so you saw what we were doing that's what i was talking about i'm so glad you had that example to show her because like i said i can't find mine but that's what i was talking about i think mine are downstairs in my desk so i'm doing some more layers and scratches i, I just think it looks so oh, good and sad looking and now you don't have to use a dot. This is just easy to use one of these, but you can use any Look kind it. of sharp object. Here's my, here's my little tiny one. Right. So you can just put, you know, the smaller stamps on it. Mm -hmm. I have to re-stick re these. These are these are old. So yeah, do they, if they lose their stickiness, what can you do? You like wash them, and there's like a way that they maintain. I think um um I I lean um tack it over and over. Right. You put it on it and let it dry, and it should work. Okay. 
So you might just say how my I'm gonna hold my heart, my 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 <laughs> truck now up. See, I can say how sad and <laughs> it's just so distressed. I'm very distressed today. Painting distressed stuff. I'm just giving you a better brush because I really wrecked that. Uh, I love that word wrecked. Okay, I never heard wrecked. I wrecked it. It makes so much sense. And that's like my new favorite thing to say. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. So we were doing Robin quotes the other night. Like people were saying things she always says. That was one of my favorites. So. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm just going to do some dry brushing now over my not completely dry. Mm, yeah, that's going to happen. I have some pink on everything just to give it some more fun. <laughs> so Jerry stuff's got to be weird for some reason. I don't know. No, Jerry stuff is Jerry stuff. It is Jerry stuff. <laughs> it's so Jerry. You, you, you don't want to be somebody so else. Yeah, but I'm hoping in somewhere in this process you go, oh, you know, I should try like really letting go of some things. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, and we call this, you know, you're tight. Just loosen up. Just loosen up. Sometimes Oops. you just gotta loosen up, people. My heart is e uneven. Hold on. Why? It's one, not. two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What happened? One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. Let's see, Andy says, hey, Grandma Sandy, and everyone, sorry, stepped away for the get some work done. I'm glad you were here for that, Annie. And oh, Nancy, show that crochet Valentine wreath. Oh, I don't know if this. What is this? What is this they speak of? Are they, you're talking about the one that we just looked This one? Another one? Another, oh, my goodness. Okay, so that was, I've, I saw that. Did you post, is that what you posted on the group? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I saw, yeah, I love that. That is amazing. You are something. You are doing crochet art. See, it's not just for um, scarves and hats. So someone had done this really cute purse and a basket. And I just saw all this adorable stuff you can do. And that was fun. I mean, so I just what I should probably figure out which I can, I can, sh I can show you that. I can see what I watched again because I saw some really good ideas. I did um a crochet bag with um those soda can pop tabs. Uh huh. Good luck finding those now. You know about the old timey ones? You know about the old fashioned ones we used to get and save. Do they still make those? I don't get cut. Wait, did they make those? Oh, you know about the ring. Okay, I know which ones you're talking about. I was thinking about those weird shaped ones when I was a kid. The horseshoes kind Here of our horses. Shape. Those are the pop tab. Uh oh yeah, that oh what in the world? And then that's the side. Stop. Oh my goodness. And then the handle. I I I I I words. I got no words. That is amazing. When did you do this? Uh last year. That is so and cute. the inside is lined and it has pockets too. Stop it. Do you carry it? People I did, it. but it, um I didn't want to get to, to mess it up too much. I know. I know. I just refer to, every now and then I I, I grab it. It's uh -huh. pretty big. I love that. And yeah. they're, both, they're both different colors on, on the opposite sides. Let me say it again on the opposite. Yeah. So this. this I love that. I see. I love those this, colors. Yeah. I love that. the gold and all that. Oh my goodness. So what this yarn is um, cotton is yarn? Polyester is that a wool blend? Because it it's a cotton cool. yarn. It is. Oh, okay. So it's because so, it doesn't it, it doesn't stretch as much. Right. It, yes. That is one thing. I was messing with some yarn on that go. little thing. I went, oh, that's right. I need that yarn that doesn't stretch. I have some cottons, and they do. When that stuff starts to stretch, it is hard to work with. That that's really sweet. And then it, it, I, it has, that I said this kind of stuff. I look for at thrift stores. That's like made that way. Mm -hmm. you know? I love it. I love because I'm not gonna make it myself. I don't know. And she's something. That is something. I don't want this to be a little bit. Yes, we do, Annie. When Jerry comes down, mm -hmm. so I'm only 30 minutes south of, of um, Annie. More I than, know. Depending on traffic, it could be two hours. <laughs> well, that you see that Miami I'm traffic. Oh, no, I'm horrible because I live in this town that we have traffic at three o'clock and five o'clock. Well, I'm in the mornings. I was up that early. Please, I'm not driving. But we have like traffic three times a day. You know what I mean? Like morning, mm -hmm. 
and and then that's it. And oh my gosh, you think it was the end of the world? Like, oh, I'm not getting out in that traffic. <laughs> it's resting. How bad can it be? <laughs> There's my I'm heart not for Dallas. I'm just saying, and big cities at all. I'm waiting for it to dry a little bit before I start staining it. But that's the basic. Um, yeah. And then I use the Scrabble tiles. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to work this. on the other stuff. Because um, Home Depot used to sell these. And now that, because they had a little craft section. And now that. They, really? They took it away. I've never. So in, my, in my Home Depot, they took it away. Okay. Yeah. Because so I, I don't I got, I ever have seen that. And then I made this with the um, Dollar Tree um, fishbowl. In a, in a thrift store. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So I put this on my shelf. Yeah, I have my stack. of It's like a snowman. I have my stack of fish balls. I was wanting to do something really clever with. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up black. I wanted the graphite. Ugh. I need to pick up my hair. It's hot in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to put my hair back. And I put it over this way. And it's going to all be in my... I'm going to paint all over my hair. The first one is adorable. Isn't that the cutest thing? She just... I know. She's got some... My, my problem is, is the AC seat window unit is in the living room. Mm -hmm. And now that I have this wall of cabinets, right? Bins, there's it no air coming this air. way. It does, yeah. So it's like, do I want the wall? Or do I want air? Yeah. Um. One of the there we go. And when laying out my yeah, this while well, out my studio, I really had to fix some things because I was sort of blocking some my good airflow too. I had to fix some things as far as that goes. Well, my heart yeah. drives. I'm gonna crochet some some of the hearts. Right. So one of my, on my, um, we're trying to redo the barn, which I've made a big hot mess out of, of course. Everything I touch turns into a <laughs> I know. I'm horrible. I'm so sorry. But I wanted, we did, because different times of year, we have like an air conditioner and then we have a heater. And you want it to be in a position where that airflow is going to maximize your heat or cool. And right now, I've got some stuff that's blocking our good. Airflow. I'm doing that thing again. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just getting dark and morbid. Yeah, I, need, I need some dark. extra light. Hold on. This is not for everyone. I'm just saying, yeah. but it's good for me. It's good therapy for me. Get some really, you know, interesting looking hearts down here. Gotta get some more blood red color in here. So I had such a good time getting my um, mother Valentine's together. <laughs> so my husband goes in and just goes, "What is wrong with you, woman? Why are all our, your Valentines so dark and?" Creepy looking. It, the, it, your mood really makes a difference. Yes. Right. Love you. No, I did a really cool thing, and I'll explain it better. It was like you know, it was like my husband. This I actually made a Valentine for my husband this year, and it was kind of interesting how it kind of you know you see something, and go, I've got an idea, and I'm about to get artsy, folks. I'm about to get artsy, and so I kind of made this some very symbolic kind of you know heart Valentine thing. Hey, one of a kind. What can you do? JJ, you're married. That's what you get for staying married for 30s. Going on one years. Going on. Oh, two, two. Oh, two years. 32 years. Been to go 33. See, I was trying to get my uh, other age in there. But yes, 33. See, Together. Drop it two degrees. Yeah, and I and I did a bad no no when I was 65. That's my. Everybody on, on, on Facebook is showing all their snow pictures. And I'm yes. painting myself. <laughs> no. Yes, we have to make our own snow around here, don't we? Let's see. Right now, it is 75. Yeah, we're having these cold bad. mornings and it you know, warms up. And that's hard. That's hard on that fibromyalgia body because it's like I can't adjust. My body is not adjusting. All right, I want some more dark. It's like, how do you know where to put dark and light? You just do, folks. You just, just, you just feel it. I'm just Thank feeling it needs to be dark here. here. I want some darkness. But this is just part of it. Thank All right. You, Liz. Yeah, what's we got? Broke girls here. Yay! What are you working on, Jerry? Okay, so I have a, a one of those. Oh, it's a Dollar Tree. I never really mentioned that, did I? This is from Dollar Tree, and it's something that... um that CJ from CJ DIY sent me and I'm making sort of cute little red, happy Valentine's. Yeah. They're a little bit on the dark side. They're a little bit rotten. 
lighted heart and Valentine because it's just not in the mood to make, make Valentine's right now. But so I'm making, and I was saying earlier, if you're like not feeling the all happy hearts and stuff like that, yeah, well, just use those as like little opportunities to just be artistic and kind of scrub it. So I'm using a dowel just to give it some texture because that, and you can, like I said, any kind of sharp object. And if you've got any of the crafting tools, which I thought I had handy, but I don't. Just to kind of make some marks and scratches in your paint. It just looks so much better up close, obviously. And I think, um, obviously, in higher definition than I probably have on my camera here. Let that dry. I've got to touch up some white right here. And then I'm going to, oh, you know, I'm going to use the wrong side of the. Of That's the, what I got okay. here as far as dry goes. Not really as dry as I'd like to be to do my next step. So I'm going to work on that hard. Because I'm going to be nice to, kind of nice to this one. I'm going to kind of scuff it up, but I'm not going to make it as, it's for the, because this is part of this little delivery. Bye, Sarah. Thanks for coming. I have to go pick up my boys from school. Been there. Been there. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. My son finishes school work before I, I go my car line. Because that made me, ooh, don't even get my kids going on mom and car line. Most days I was okay, but I was getting pretty much aggravated. People became the car line Nazi. It's like, can you really not follow the car line rules? Really, people? There are rules here. And there are those who just can't follow them. It's how it's going to always be. Mm hmm I'm like, I want to be that person. I want to be the person who doesn't follow the car line rules for a change. So the person who worries about it. Like, why can't be a rebel? I know. No, I don't get that rebel feeling from them. I get this privilege. Like, well, you're the goofy people who think you actually have to follow the rules. Me, I can get away with breaking them. So there. Hmm. And I get that's the part I get aggravated with. Like, why do I have the nerve to do that? I want to be <laughs> with them. So, I'm break the rules. Some some people think that they're privileged because you know. They drive well, a better car. I, I talked about this before. I'm going to walk in and go, oh, you, yeah, my mm -hmm. mom in the car lines. So one thing about my kids being in car line, it did give them a little more sleep because they're our car. Oh, it came so early. I don't like that color, by the way. And uh, you know what I want to use? I don't want to use that. I want to use a different charcoal. So the charcoal I picked up was like a medium and it's just too hard. I need a really soft one for this. Uh, that I wanted them to have that little, uh, really almost an hour of sleep because they had picked them up so early. I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to let them sleep in. Look what my husband just brought me. Oh, a package. Did you get heavy mail? I believe it's my scroll saw blades. Ooh. I'm doing an unboxing. <laughs> Yay. And speaking of which I have one to do as well. I got something today. Uh, Tiff, you're on still, right? So what I, um, I think she and I were talking about this. I got, I think I got that yarn thing, that little yarn spinner thing from those people that contacted me. And I did, I said, I'd given your name, but I said, I think you've already contacted this person. And I went ahead and told them and I told um, a couple other people. So if any of y'all are interested in doing a, a demo of this little yarn product i was different things uh, did you did you contact me about that nancy i think i gave them yours no i don't think nancy? i have this one that, that's manual yeah it's like that but it's like you crank it yeah yeah but i've seen those it's the same thing much quicker <laughs> yes no oh, yeah manual is definitely gonna make a difference uh -oh. because i've seen those things before but so my other favorite technique, love me some charcoal. Got to get in here with my charcoal, make a big nasty mess. Oh my goodness gracious. So you kind of, what came first, the charcoal or putting charcoal on everything or the dolls? Actually, I did the dolls. I put the charcoal on the dolls first. I wasn't doing charcoal on paint, but I was doing watercolors and other pencils on, on top of paint for a long time before that. So it kind of came natural to do the next thing. Here's the blades oh, here are your blades or what are, what is it? The blades for this, they're, they're spiral blades. Okay. Oh yeah. So we got those for hours and I tried using it and ours vibrates really bad and bugs me. So between somewhere between, uh, I'm, I just do like charcoal. And so I'm just scrubbing. Oh, yucky okay, is what I'm doing. I just realized I'm scrubbing my old, this is the old brush, I'll throw away brushes. 
And I'm just using that really beat up brush to kind of scrub in the shadows. Can y'all see them? No. So I'll show you up close. Kind of the same technique I was using with the... You know, and then you can kind of make more details in your truck if you want them to have other details, like more shading and stuff. So I'm kind of running around the doors with that. Uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. So I'll be playing with that later. <laughs> yes. Check out my Instagram later, see what what what, what happens. I haven't, but, but so now I have it and it's great when I need it, but I don't have this. I'm not, don't feel compelled to actually be a like scroll, scroll. I have too many other things to do, too many. <laughs> but I was really impressed with Robin's little experiment last night. Cause God love her. She'll experiment. And that's an artist. For I, you. I missed that one last night. Oh, it's interesting. Isn't it? No, she did a book paper and all. And I was trying to think, how would you have done that differently, Robin? probably glued paper the paper together i don't know there's got to be another hmm can't describe it to kind of get keep all the shredding my first heart. the overall effect was amazing how'd you do that are I you crocheting it. but it's yeah. like doubled huh it looks like it's doubled no it's just really thick okay and you see the chain around the edge no and that's I, I i chained three Mm -hmm. And then I do three triple crochet, four double crochet, one triple crochet, four double crochet. And okay, so don't, crochet. don't, wait, wait, wait. Robin's still on? You're going to throw her off. Robin, it's okay. It's and, really and it's all, it's all, um, I don't know if it, it sounds scary. It's, it's so easy that it makes complete sense. There you go. It, it's all um, crocheted into that little center hole. Yeah. So you started with the chain and you did a made yourself like a circle, right? Did you start with the circle? No. no I, 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 some people do the circle. I, I don't. I just do three chains and then I triple crochet in the third um, chain. Okay. And, and that's just, yeah, for those of y'all who don't, don't, or starting out at that, this is just mm -hmm. the stitches you learn. And, yeah. and once you've learned them, they're like automatic. It's just the weirdest. It is a very much like riding a bicycle kind of thing. Once, if you've ever done, it's so funny that a lot of people started out really young, which is great. Hello, Bert. Oh, hey, Kurt. There, Hello there. there. You Thank you for joining us. The light's hitting it better now. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, so I made, I was trying to make um, doll, doll uh, booties and making them a certain size because dolls are all different sizes, you know. And what I did I made one really cute and then just made it up, you know, it was sort of really cute. And then I was like, I have no idea. I made this. And I was trying to get like <laughs> my stitches and I was like, I can't, I, I have no idea what I did. So there's my truck. Gave it a little detail, gave my heart. I'm going to put some dark around my hearts, but I actually want to draw on my hearts more. Don't I? Yeah. Don't you think? A little bit of shading. Oh, that's, those are so wet. I better not get in there. I'll get my brush. It's gonna be Let me show you how I did the, the little square uh-huh so i have these really cool color these are just the watercolors by crayola i am shocked and amazed how well these do on the dolls um you know when i was doing the doll someone said oh yeah i just have these and i went are you kidding me because i just paid like 50 dollars for some and i tried these that i had and they do really well and i, I i'm just gonna go and just do draw some cross hatching on here of just more color because it just I, I need a low jack for my pencil Mm -hmm. For some reason, that thing, I can find everything else, but that pencil, it disappears on me all the time. Pretty much. Is it, roll, is it right. rolls? Yes. Oh, one night I was so frustrated because I all my pencils kept rolling. Every time I would work on something, the pencils would roll off the desk. I picked it, and you break them. If you break your color inside the wood, oh, yeah, it's good. Good. you got to sharpen them, they're ruined. So you really kind of have to baby your pencils a little bit. So that was frustrating. Maybe but so from now on, I have to have a tray to put my pencils in because that's or I just put them back. I in have to do eyes. that. Yes, because mine were you, especially on your Prisma colors. Even though they have a, a kind of a rubbery, it's just a, their plastic is a little bit different. Um, there it's just a their medium, I guess they use. I have my Prisma colors in a little booklet. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my gosh, mine's are, mine are just a big mess in the tin. I did take okay. them out. I had to take them out of that little fancy thing they come in because I can never keep them sorted. Plus, I've oh, I don't like that tin. I took it off right away. I know. Yeah, we always had to do it. my sketch pencils. Oh, no. Nice. my pens. And then it has three zippers. And these oh, are my. Is, oh, okay, you are uptown. Look at you. Those are my my colors, my prisma colors. Right my, now, mine are no, my. This one fell out. Yeah. Oh, that must be the too organized. I can't stand it. No, that's <laughs> awesome because when I'm trying to draw, I mean, like you said, it's they're all over the place, and and they fall. You don't want them to fall because you can break the, the you can break the lead inside the pencil. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh great, that looks bad. I have this little. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring the camera back up. This little tote here. Mm -hmm. Look at all yes. Now, okay, I'm going to just shame you real quick. Look. Where are you buying that stuff when you are so skilled and making awesome stuff? You feeling shame now? No? no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, you're fine. But you know what I mean? You are really good at making that sort of stuff. Well, the, the, pri the price um was cheaper than me working in buying the fabric. In your time, absolutely. Espe especially if you buy the fabric that you want. Mm -hmm. If you buy cheap fabric, no big deal. But, but it is so that cute if you think about, you know, you do embroidery and sewing. And mm -hmm. you can make some really cute stuff personalized for I, i've made totes bags and purses and stuff right but that that i think it was um ended up being twenty dollars mm -hmm. and it has all kinds of zippers and yeah you can't beat that now can you so let's see what broke girl said my grandma crocheted all kinds of stuff barbie i know and huge dresses i love the i have some of those dresses that somebody made and they're so cute you know and she's not on today is she um so Rainbow Buys has changed her name, if y'all haven't caught on. It's uh, Rainbow Fairy Crafter, and she does the cutest little crocheted stuff. And she's young, and I'm just so thrilled for her, and I really have been meaning to send her my dolls because I wanted to make something that a little uh, animal costumes that she makes to fit mm -hmm. certain dolls that I have. So I'm just going to send her my whole doll. And just have I'm, using, I'm using my Crapple Doll Big Bite. I want, okay, I didn't even get the little bite. Come on. I haven't gotten the little one yet. That's kind of on my, my wish list for Christmas. Hmm. I don't know what there. I got the big one because um, you can put it into a sheet of paper that's almost seven inches long. What? So you, oh, you I, I do have trouble with my hands, like not wanting to do that kind of stuff. So is it hard to operate or is it? No, it's, it's better for me than, than having to squeeze both. Yeah, I don't say I couldn't squeeze it. That's what I was saying. That may be better. That would be, would be better. Because you sit, sit it on the on the table here, and I, uh -huh. with both hands, I just push uh -huh. it. And this is um, uh, cutting through that piece of wood. Okay, that is adorable. Look what she did. Now oh, I need some colors other than that. I need some more white on this thing. So instead of getting the other one, because the other one only gives you so many, so much that you can reach inside. To mm -hmm. a, this one you can reach into um, a much bigger. Um, you can set, put a hole in the center of your page if you wanted to. Right. All right, I'm gonna dry brush instead. It has has a little um, guide here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you know. It, it, bring it back. To oh, the, that's brilliant. So right. it stays in one spot. So that's what I'm doing here with these. I have it to the front and then go over where the little mark is and pop. Mm -hmm. It does metal too. It does metal like thin, right? Not nothing too like tin or something. Just like, just like the, the, the corrugated that they can find at Dollar Tree. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one was a little off. Oh well. I need to brighten up. Some of my hearts got really dark. Really dark. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I try not to to OCD about it, but sometimes I go, oh, no, I gotta do it again. 
Yeah, no. I sometimes like, oh, you won't see it once I put the, the little heart on top. Uh-huh. Oh, because you did you kind of, does it get, it get kind of scuffed up or what? What were you redoing? The holes are the, like, mm -hmm. like this one here in the middle. It didn't do. Okay. It's not in the center. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I was doing something. Oh, I was painting them like a plastic thing. I was like, I'd be sure and tell people, yeah, if you're doing this for someone else, make sure you put plenty of Mr. Super Clear on there first. So you won't, they won't lose their, yeah, you know, painting on plastic. Okay, I've got to fix my tires. Tires need some love. I went time. Not too bad. You know me, I'm the slowest painter. I think it takes so much more time I think it's going to take. On my on my painting on my videos are sped up so yeah that's right oh yes because I was out here working on stuff and I was you know filming it and I looked down and I went holy cow that that was just that was fifty two minutes I did another one that was forty seven like mm -hmm. what is going on here I'm so slow I had someone tell me well you have so many so many minutes for your videos why don't you, do you speed it up. I go because you know you want to watch a three-hour video. I know, right? On how how to paint. But it's kind of you know some of the process watching it evolve. It's kind of fun. That's why I don't mind. I don't mind this high speed as long as it's not moving high. You know what I mean? As oh. long as it's just this is stationary. But as things start getting shifted around, which I've shifted there's still a lot of stuff around. So I'm gonna have to work like, on that one. I'd like gluing it. the blocks together. Um, that's you know wood glue and blocks it's mm -hmm. the, only, the only um different the difference is how you glue them together right hey steve so i'm, I'm not going to um have them sit there you know 45 minutes okay, while so amy I says i have an example of my channel oh, and i lost eggs and much of dark academia it's really pretty and darker side of valentine's day i love it now did you just oh, I, I saw that video last year i was from last year okay i think i did too i know i know i did i did see it um i do like me yeah i've got some other printouts and things i had some ideas for them but i don't know i just had all this little crafty stuff and i said okay i'm starting with something that could be really cute i'm making it not as cute in the end it's more dark and <laughs> this is kind of cute it's a little cute I'm just doing the jerry to it i'm pulling a jerry on it I got the only thing about these little squares, you gotta be careful because they're thin. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I would crack it. You could you yeah. easily crack it because once you're putting your needle through it, right? It hook, it's 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 vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So you gotta just take your time when you're going in and out of the hole. Yeah, I can see that being a thing. I know why it's hot. Why? I just turn on, turn on my fourth light over me. Oh yeah. So well, kind of these and make sure you get the um kind of don't get hot. Well, it's it's my it's my magnifying glass. Um, mm -hmm. I said that. Mm -hmm. This one here. Right. So when but, it comes time to change out those things, yeah, just mm -hmm. get one that doesn't get as hot. Now I have hot one over here by me. I just never changed out the bulb. When it die, when this bulb goes out, you know. That's how it works, though. When you have like a, one of those bulbs, you think, "Oh, I'll change that out." With not, it, it never goes out. So I need. I got one. Uh, okay, yeah, I got the right color. So what I, I have, I have lots of tr trouble with my eyes, so I need a lot of light. Yes. To be able to see it's something. Cold. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It happens. Everything looks dark. Yeah. Now in my, I will tell, okay. So lighting is a good thing to talk about my studio right now. I'm having serious glare issues. And when you get a glare, you got to like shift your stuff around to kind of figure out I've scrolled up and I've got to scroll back down. Hey, she's here. Erica's actually here. We were just talking about you. Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. I was talking about your uh, adorable crochets and stuff, your little doll clothes and all that. I love them. They're I'm crocheting great. around a little square to add my little so crochet I, uh, heart. We need to add you to the yarn thing because we're doing, so Connie's doing and Robin are doing the yarn, a thon or whatever. I don't know. That's not the right word. What is it again, Robin? And it's um, all, and so we're going to 
I thought it was just going to be about crocheting or whatever, but it turns out they just did any kind of yarn craft. And since you do, uh, she does the canvas, the you know, the little, but she builds stuff out of that plastic canvas. Oh, my, my mom does plastic furniture. canvas. Yeah. She does amazing. My mom does all that stuff. Yeah. So then you plastic, know. Yeah. Plastic canvas is her favorite. Mm hmm. But I'm she's always made, amazed. She's made furniture. She's made frames. She's made signs. She's made door um, hangers. Mm -hmm. I think I have one right behind me on, on the bathroom door. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. So, so that I wanted her to be more, you know, hopefully get to be a part of that. So she it's can. It's dirty, but I'm this is what my mom me. makes. Oh, that is sweet. And she puts felt in the back to cover. But she has made like these amazing the beds she has made. I'm just like, what in the world? I, I, I'm I my it. mom made a nativity for Christmas. Yeah. Mm hmm I'll have to um I need some more dark. I'm pushing my darks now because I got mm -hmm. I just need my darks in here. Uh, I'm having trouble with this last hole here. Some more That's shadows all. in here. I think it's gonna be better to have. Let me see this clear in here too. Kind of switch it around. Oh no, 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 stop doing that. Going over painter. Once I finish the fingers in, because it's gotta be involved. Gotta get the whole hand and body and thing going here. Let's still get our brushes in the paint. How about that? Yeah, yeah, it got to have the That's one of her, sm her smaller ones. She's done um, signs that are like 24 by 36. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have a question. Has anyone done those diamond? I, I've never done the Diamond I, dots? I, I doubt I will not do those because I just don't need another project. And, you know, you and know, I would kind of draw anyway. But they're kind of, I saw somebody posted one. You know, I, these random videos come up. They're pretty. They're, but my problem is with, with my eyes again. Yes, exactly. I, and my hands, my hands be all over the place. I was like, I can't get my hand to go in there and do that thing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting arthritis in my hands. Mm -hmm. In the first hour in the morning, it's me opening and closing my hands so they can start moving. Right, that's terrible. And and younger and younger people are getting arthritis too. That's the other. I just, oh my gosh, the worst. All right, that heart right there, I just lack something. I don't know. What something. kind of um, yarn did you get, Deborah? Yeah, what's she doing? Oh, oh my gosh, we got some right. So, Nancy should tell your mom about the Facebook plastic canvas groups filled with freaks patterns. That's cool. Uh, Deborah cool. says, Hey, what is the shipment of yarn? What she got? Oh, are you playing? Are you playing with this? Um, I know she, I mean, she's probably going to play along. She doesn't, she's not a content creator, but she could definitely be one if she wanted to. <laughs> um, she does some good stuff. My mom doesn't do um, social media. My dad barely does it. Mm -hmm. he, he only does it to um, connect with family. Yeah. We got a lot of family all over the country. That's a good, good thing. Try to get my mom just to do that with that, you know, but she just waits for us to come and either mail her stuff, and, you know, like email it to her and go, well, look, so and so said this is going on here and all that kind of stuff. But all right, so um, something really interesting happened. My mother's made for many, many years passed away. And then, I mean, she really likes this lady there. And, and she would die. She's younger than, she's in like 57, maybe. And, She's not gonna be able. To, they're not gonna bury her until the twenty second, because Why there's no that? place to. Yeah, the churches. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's y'all. The whole funeral thing. That's a whole nother. Mm, not a good time to die. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness. No, it's terrible. Okay, I need some more that's, red. That's probably hand. harder than the family having to wait too. Uh yes, uh, that is horrible, and. Yeah, because I could not. I'm nodding on the back of the uh, of the the square here. Uh -huh. I, if I wasn't gluing this onto something, I would weave in the ends. Right. But since I'm gluing oh, it, do you have a needle? Do you use the little yarn needles and sew them back in? Yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. But since this is being glued onto something, you, you never see it. Worry about it, right? 
So I'm going to put, put this is how this is going to look. Oh my goodness. Like that. And those were, you said those just were there. triple stitch. Those were the triple um, that you were doing just then to put, come put that together. You used a triple stitch. I did three triple crochet. Uh -huh, and then a single. Then, then four double. Then mm -hmm. one more triple crochet. Right, the middle one. Mm -hmm. And then another four double. And then three more triple crochet. And it gives you that little hump on the top. Yeah. And the peak at the bottom. Blue. I'm, now I'm going to just. Because like on this one here. I glued the the heart onto the onto the little so it brings the color from the beads since I didn't want to um, paint the right. beads. Uh huh. It brings the color down to the. To it the does. Neck. It's really good. Plus the the scrabble tiles are also similar color. So you can also like if you wanted to stain them or paint them too. Oh yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah. This is what I'm going to be playing with later with my scroll saw. Um, Shay at Midnight, Midnight, Midnight Scroller. Uh -huh. She made some earrings on her, on, her, on her um scroll saw, right? And I'm gonna try some of those. Wow, I haven't caught her lately. I don't know why. I just haven't. She, has she been busy? Because I haven't seen her. She usually pops up on my feed, you know. Oh, uh, she she has she does, she has COVID. That's right. I do know that. I do know. So that. she she yeah. she posted okay. today that she she'll be back on Thursday with her live. Okay. All right. So here's what we ended up with. Yeah. So y'all see how my sweet little red hearts. But I do want to write down. Y'all see how dark they got? They're so dark. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And my lighting's a little bit dark too right now. I don't can't get a good light. But there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Lots of weird lines and scratches, and <laughs> because it can't just be normal. I'm going I to mute for a second. Like something. I'm going to mute for a second to um Sam. Arts delivery. Okay, go ahead. Wait, she's muting me. Am I muted? I can't hear me. So nice. Thank you. I plan on making watch caps for the veteran. There you go. That's so sweet, Deborah. That is really sweet. Uh, let's say thank you. Thank you, Merv. Uh, Merv, I was trying to find you on um, yeah, I can't find your name on the th on your channel. Hey, Mike's here. I didn't see you pop on Mike. You're so quick. Get down. Let's see. Um, I'm back. I was just giving you a little nice yes, thank stand. You. I'm using my antique Waverly wax. Mm -hmm. Trying to lay out where my letters are going to go. Because I'm just freehanding them. I need to get some some baby wipes. I ran out. And how you do yeah. just how you use this old towel? Years of college. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm lying. That's not how <laughs> you do. <laughs> ah, red. Red is good. Red is a good color. Anything. I don't know. Y'all can't. Let me put it down. I know it's upside down for y'all, but you know what? May as well be right side up because it doesn't matter. I'm just drawing in letters. So I don't think about them as letters. I try to think about them as shapes now and spaces in between. Let's see if I can get them straight. I didn't even use a ruler. That's bad. Sometimes I use a ruler. Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't. I don't mind this being really rough looking because it's, well, let's start cart delivery. What do you want? I kind of like them, kind of, they painted it themselves with blood. Now, what is happening to my Valentine's? No, oh, I, I know. I'm not thinking, is my husband even going to be home for fun? Probably not. Deborah, what are watch caps? It's a certain shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, they're really simple. 
Yeah, I definitely, I definitely wanted that R to, uh, R to be over more. And this is a watercolor pencil, so if I do mess it up horribly, I can fix it. Like this. Hang on. I can fix this. So I'm just going to take a little water. My brush. Water. Just a little water. And then clean it up. Oh, the little weird tricks we do. Yeah, no. <laughs> So this is charcoal and watercolor pencils, so I can kind of get it the way I want it. And paint. Of course, you can come back and paint it, but I'm kind of using it. Water. Right. Yeah, water's my eraser. Here's a college right here, down the drain. Um, then this is what Here's I Here's the, the hat, I mean, the heart stain on the front. Yeah. That looks great. Now, what stain did you use? Was that a wax or was that? A the Waverly wax. Okay. The antique one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you saw, if you see what I'm doing, can y'all see my hand? I'm pulling the water off because I'm actually using, drying off my brush to kind of pull the color. Anyway, that's just a good way to clean up my lines a little bit. I do weird stuff. I know, I know. I'm going to clean up my bottom line too. Uh, I'll fix that in a minute. Don't worry, it'll get fixed. All right, let me write delivery. <laughs> I think I'm going to deliver it to be black, but I'm going to use a pencil now instead of charcoal because... Well, I get more control, and it's a little bit waxier, so it'll go down better. I tell you, some of the part, sometimes when I'm doing something, I have to like look at a font or print it out so I can kind of get that look. Because, yeah, I really like this E. I don't really like what I did with that E. I wish I had done that E instead, where the E top, that was a little bit higher up. Kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I, I do that to look up some yeah. different fonts. Yeah, to get some ideas of different. Especially when I'm doing my doodles and stuff. Mm -hmm. If I want to add a, a little quote to it. Yep. Or just use my handwriting. Yeah. Depending, depending on what it is. Best handwriting ever, but that's fun. I'm get some more D. I want the red to be dark. I don't have a lot to work with here. A little hint of red in there. This heart here, you, I'm staining it, but you can easily mm -hmm. paint it. Yeah. Any any color you want. But most of my um, Jenga block stuff is um, stained or painted black because I like the combination. Yes. So when I did the Ferris wheel, I said I I'm going to do a different I color. Like, the oh, the Avery picked up that wood. That wood was wet under it. Been kind of cute if I done it dark H A R T. <laughs> Is it straight? I can't even tell. Uh, yeah, sort of. Yeah, I said they just hand painted it on there. They weren't paying much attention when they were doing it. I'll do some details on my window, maybe. I don't know. A little something right here. Looks like I just I'm just feeling it that I just gotta put something right here for some reason. <laughs> Draw on it a little bit. But more details. Not just shadows. Kid, the front is done. Now I have to wait till it dries to do the back. I'm kind of highlight my little windshield. Well, you don't have to do the back, uh, but I like to finish everything around because it's, it's it's neutral on the back, so it's a big deal. But then you got the oh, upside down <laughs> back windshield. <laughs> there, that's a deep back windshield. That's like the the little pink windshield in back. This is not really, you know, it's just a weird. Color. What gotta say? I got stain all on my fingers. I don't like those lines. Nothing new. So basically, I'm going to have to give this one up. For working on it. I say if you don't get dirty crafting, you're not crafting. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to go big real quick, but with the uh, whatever this one is right here. If it works. Oh, yeah, there you go. Is that big enough? Can y'all see? Let's try something. I didn't use picture in picture. I don't know what's going on with. Oh, I sorry, Nancy. Well, did I hit that or did you? The net that I I didn't know I hit that one. No, I haven't touched anything. That's this rainbow fairy saying, Nancy, what are you crocheting? And it says hi. And yeah, I gotta go find it. I don't. I didn't know what I that I hit that. I keep click on it over here. Let me go find it. Hi, current comment. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, there's that. That's that. Yeah, I was trying to do picture in picture. And it's not picture in picture layout press. Wait, what? Shift seven. Wait, shift plus seven. What? I'm gonna 
use the hotkey. I'm using hotkeys today. Hope I don't delete everybody. Nope, didn't work. Hmm. Let me, you want you want to go big? I was trying to do big, and then like that one. That's yeah, but that was yours. How, how how do I? Yeah, the, I don't know how to swap them around. We're so brilliant, I know. Why can't I control it? I don't know. Okay, I'm just. Hmm. Oh, you're in charge, apparently. Yeah, you're in charge. Yeah. Why? You get to be in charge. No, because I, I set you as an admin. So, yeah. Um, no, look at it this way. What I see is I need more highlights. I have a lot of low lights, but my my blacks and stuff. But, man, I kind of need some more brightness on my I love the color of the truck. Thank you. I know. People just don't do white trucks. I could have some fun and put, like, little, um, you know, things could do another thing here put some lug nuts you know making some wheels let's chrome wheels put little hearts on them well that's drawing i'm gonna get my hot glue done started yeah, back to just doing our sketchbooks and stuff i know i thought i said okay that's one thing i need to do that i wanted to do more with like um you know journaling kind of books so I didn't. I know. What day is it? Yeah, we're already the eleventh. <laughs> Don't let that stop you. So it might be a thing that I need to do for a month. You know, pick up hey, February because it's a short month, and see if I will. You know, and hopefully it can continue. Don't push it. Just let it happen. Let art happen. Yeah. Guys. Let it happen. I I started one of my my junk journals. Mm hmm. Hey. <coughs> Excuse me. And I um. On one of them, I have all my YouTube ideas. Right. So I'm working on that, playing around with it. I'm just kind of creating like a little sketch of like a half circle kind of thing to be the a bunch of designs. <laughs> going on the beginning of the next book. Nobody needs that many lug nuts. It's not a lug nut. It's just a design. <laughs> likes to lug nuts anyway just having some fun with my wheels because what else can yes yeah, so it's got like a lot more detail it's got this really dark little sad hearts going around in mm -hmm. it's going to be alone yeah. think about these wonderful hearts that i did how how much fun these are and this kind of you know i've spent mm, even though i'm married i have spent many an anniversary and many a birthday and many a christmas and many a Valentine's Day mm, without my husband. Aww. Sometimes. Well, it's just his job. It's the job, you know. Yeah. You're married to a doctor, or you're married to anybody who like any kind of shit, you know, uh, oil field, somebody who's like gone like that. Uh, a fireman. Oh, these nine to five job people, then you've got it made. A different life having that kind of schedule. See on my on my heart here, I, I used a quarter inch square doll. Mm -hmm. to I'm gonna, put, yeah, I'm gonna hold that and look at what you're doing now. To put on, uh -huh. on yes. But I'm not gonna do it on this one because um I'm gonna see if anybody wants to buy it first. That because the length of the doll is the length of the name. Thank you, Steve. So what I can do is is glue the little square with the heart i'm making this one blue mm -hmm. so they, they can be any color so I'm I thinking, like yeah i need it it needs something i don't know if it needs to be on a picture what could i put this not on a wreath what could i put this like stick it to something else yeah. maybe i can just uh, make it a stand and just where it stands on its own maybe yeah, that could that could work. I kind of wish it now. I wish it had some of those blocks you've got. I don't have any of those. Can you believe? Just those little square yeah. ones. Yeah, I sort of, yeah. I think you can make that one. <laughs> don't you wish? Yeah. I actually, know. actually, I'm down to my la last bit. I need to order another case. I have like, I, I got. <clears throat> Do I have wood blocks? I probably have some scraps of wood in the barn that I can use. Yeah, I may just make it a stand so it actually stands up. Mm -hmm. And me, because I'm a hoarder, I'm hanging on to this tree because you never know. I'm throwing that in my Christmas stuff because they may come use for this, right? That's how we hoard. Hoard our craft stuff. A little... Oh, man. I'm... Okay, I hate this. I'm wasting paint. I can't do it. You know, I can't do that. Put you over here so you won't get hurt. Sling us a paint. 
But I always have something to... handy. No, these are like, I have this handy. So I'm going to have some fun with this real quick. Wow. I think I like this widescreen. If you don't mind, it's being a little bit smaller. You see these, the, the Christmas trucks from um, Dollar Tree? Uh -huh. These metal ones that had oh, the little trees in the back? Oh, oh, no. Did that not video? We did it again. I think it either shut off or something. Oh, those are so. Yeah. Okay. Let me see them up closer. Yeah. Oh, there's a little. Oh, my gosh. With the little bird. I made one. Hang on a second. Let me show you what I, I made. I, I, I popped a tree off. Yes. Exactly. So well, see, I made, I made this out of a little tree that I, I don't think that is the cutest thing. I, I'm not, how in the world did we both come up with this? <laughs> uh, I didn't. I love yours. Now, please show that again. Now, should Which one? No, did that Christmas. I want to see that up close and personal. This what, was my video buttons. Are those buttons? Yes. They're too cute. And did you make, wait, did it have that texture on it already? All you did was yeah. buttons? Okay, that's just, I'm sorry. All I did was take the tree off. You shamed me. No, that is adorable. You win a now, now I can use it for any season. Mm -hmm. She's a winner. She did it. She did it. Yeah, so I thought I was videoing, and I guess I wasn't. I'm going to be so mad if I look over here because it was going the whole time. I thought. I'm supposed to be videoing. Oh, too, see if it's no, y'all, it's shutting off. I seriously think I have out. I can't make a video anymore. I've got to clean off my phone. It won't video anymore. It's got too much stuff on it. I'm using my oh. overhead camera for, for, to um, record. Yes, yes. I'm trying to get some of this in. I'm, I'm trying just, to see. I'm going to add all this in. I have like okay. several hearts sitting here, so why not just have some fun? Make me a whole bunch of them. Do something interesting. Hit that have an odd number. I mean, even number though, because I do. I use I use tweezers when I'm gluing something small with hot glue, mm -hmm. so I don't have to get my fingers burnt. Oh, I have um yeah, I have uh hemostats that I use. It's okay, fine. I have some of those, but I can't find them after I clean. I them. know they're always never where you need them when you need. Where are my hemostats? I, yeah, I need like 10 of them because I do use them a lot and I never can find them when I need them. Because mm -hmm. they're, who knows? Who knows where so, they were? I had a friend that gave me a couple of them. Mm -hmm. but yes, and, I, I, and typically, I guess you can pick them up at, I order them online. Is the, that you just need to order hemostats online. There, so there's, I glued the heart to the little square. Mm hmm. Cute. It should be crocheting. So that no, so what I was thinking while they're crocheting and stuff, I'm gonna be working with something. So I had another project, and oh here it is. I do have it handy. Hang on, maybe I don't have paint on my hand. So this is something I made many years ago. Uh this uh coil basket. Someone was talking about no, the braided rugs, which made my brain go to coil baskets. So I made this out of yarn a long time ago, and mm -hmm. I actually still think I have you can use any rope, you don't have to have particular, you know, this is like a some kind of weird coiling stuff but you can use rope for this but yeah and this is a really cool yarn that i use i've had that thing since the 90s i did that back, way back then been crafting for years what can i say serious um, my grandma taught me to crochet um when i was 12. Mm -hmm. so i've been adding and adding and adding ever since right you have stuck with it I, and I learned really young. I mean, I, I know, and I don't, and I, you know, probably played at it more than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, made a doll blanket, that kind of stuff that you do. But my version of a doll blanket, I can't imagine. You see how low my but it's fun. Once you learned how to do it, how you you just pick it up again. Mm -hmm. This is all the blocks I have left. Uh huh. I have your big, like, how many was in there? 100 or 500? There's a whole bunch, wasn't oh. it? I, I had um, a whole case, which is 30 boxes. Okay. So I'm going to boxes about and how many was in each box? 72. Lord help us. <laughs> you had you had been busy. And I made this basket with uh, macrame cord. But I, I don't like recommend that. It. Then you macro you knotted it. I can't say I'm looking good. I yeah. appreciate it. Unbelievable. I wouldn't recommend it though. Wow. Whoa. The, the, the macrame cord is not twisted. Um, yeah, tight, it does. Mm -hmm. And it splits every time you, you're trying to get the, the, the hook through it. Okay. So, That's so good it to took know. me a while. Good to know. Put this back down. Yeah, see what kind so of mess I'm making here? 
It's, it makes a nice sturdy basket. This one's like really warped, makes it even more personality. Give it some, I don't know why it warped. It's kind of both sides. I didn't paint these, these came this way. These were thrifted. Yes, I'm using all these dark colors again with the dark. <laughs> yeah, I need to paint my edges. But um, there goes the heart on the heart. Yeah. That is so sweet. That just in itself put, is just the cutest little thing. Makes a little little garland out of them. Just so many things you can do with those little things. I made a um, a banner with my triangles. Mm -hmm. the, um, granny square triangles. I made okay, a not even. I can't do a granny square triangle. I haven't done one. I have a video on my channel. I know. How, I know. I think about. I know how you can make one. I can. I can envision it. That's one thing weird about me and that whole crochet. I can kind of say, "Oh, I, I know how to make this," and I can figure it out. You know, but I, I'm probably the worst about following directions. Hmm. I don't like. So that's the, the that, that's the only crochet um video I have right now is the yeah. grinding some triangle. Okay. But I would like to figure out how to do the. I'm pretty sure he did a heart and then he made it into a granny square. Yeah, you, know you can. Yeah. Okay. I've, seen, so I've seen. I've seen some that, that start with a daisy in the middle. And my grandmother did, and then this is a two step process. But she did what was called the cabbage rose in the middle, uh, and she made everybody like all the okay. granddaughters one of those. Hmm? It's not dry enough to sand. No. What happened? It fell apart. No, it started started um, opening up in the back. Oh, I see. So, so you don't have to brace that on the back with anything. It'll stay. It will stay. No problems. No problems. Look. Mm -hmm. This is the other one. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's solid. Oh, yeah. Ooh, get me a bigger brush for this. You just have to use the right glue and let it, and let it let it do its stuff. Mm-hmm. Because um, I've 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 done it where where I try to. Like I, like I'm doing now, trying to work on it before it's fully dry and it's, it's starting to bend. Right. Can't rush greatness now. When it comes to this wood stuff, it, and the, the thing is, when you when I do, when I do rush it, it takes me twice as long because I have to fix everything. You have to fix it, right? I know that. I'm putting some glue over in the gaps in the back to give it more something to glue onto there we go it's got this this technique. Oh, what i did with the edges i just used the standing sponge mm -hmm. okay so are those the large jenga blocks no these are the small ones so they make a bigger version really yeah from um family not woof. I believe Family Dollar has some, uh -huh. and Five Below has some for five dollars. You get thirty-six in a package. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I have something that. I, oh, I think I do. Hold on. <coughs> so what we have, uh, Deborah says, when it comes to swag, I'll give you all my <laughs> jenga. <coughs> Sorry about that, Gus. Thank you, Deb. I, I made I made these pumpkins with the Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. And those then are yes, those are really cute. And these are the 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 one from Five Below. Even better. Yeah, big, big, much bigger statement. Absolutely. <laughs> I just love how she just reached back and there they were. Me, I'd have to go. I don't know. I couldn't tell you where my. What? No, it's up in the attic. I, know where my, I made. I made some from one by twos, one by threes, or two by no, huh? two by threes. Hold on a second, JJ. Bring me your pumpkin, the big pumpkin. Okay. No, the big wood one. Oh, you can bring spookly, spookly too. So he, here's here's the little Dollar Tree Django ones, right? Let me go up a little bit, right? Okay. And then this is the one I made uh, out of an eight eight foot piece of wood. Wow, <laughs> those are great. See, look at the difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. I go. I have to try one at least. 
I love it. It's awesome. And then these these are the the, the <laughs> wire the wire I guess you could do for, different levels too or angles and stuff like that. Give it more give it like a different shape. I'm yeah. Sure. And these are this is the wired wired jute from Dollar Tree that you can mm -hmm. wait. Oh, what that wired jute? Oh no. Yeah. I didn't have it. Haven't been Dollar Tree in it. And I'm just now, well, because I went from December of not, wait, did I not shop in December? What did I do in December? No time. Um, Because I am really trying to use what I have and quit shopping. You know, I do need to. I think nothing was more convincing than just trying to organize my studio after the fact because it was too much. Mm-hmm. Well, I went to um, Dollar Tree after my doctor's appointment last week mm -hmm. to see uh, what Valentine stuff they had. Mm -hmm. But our Dollar Tree barely started putting th things out, so I didn't find anything. I think I need this. I'd let my paint dry a little bit. I probably need something a little bit rougher to scratch my paint up with. Yeah, that was way too dry. You just do it because it feels good. <laughs> okay. No plan here. Feels like it needs to go that way. Oh, uh, my brushes are wet. Go back down. There we go. I'm just sanding the edges to make it look a little worn instead of so pristine. Don't you hate putting away stuff like your pumpkins and all that are really awesome? You know what I mean? Yeah. I did so good on that. I don't want to put it up. I want to I, look I, at I, I used the um the Dollar Tree pumpkins, those the styrofoam ones, mm -hmm. and I crocheted around it. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. You're pretty fast with this because you just whipped that thing up real quick. So that's, I can imagine it, it wasn't a long, you know, it didn't take you long to do. So I was going through my, my one sorting. I found I have a lot of heart stuff. That's why I'm going, kind of going a little nuts with them because I have so many hearts. I don't, that's where I went because I, I wanted to do more, more um, Valentine stuff and I didn't have, since I, I didn't do anything Valentine last year. Mm -hmm. I don't believe. I don't, I don't but think I did I'm, find I'm, this I'm, part I'm, at Dollar Tree. This big old styrofoam heart. <laughs> oh, wow. 3D. Yes. So I got some fabric from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Mars, 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 so you're going to kind of, how do you, how do you work with that though? I'm going to um, glue fabric on it. Okay. I just kind of like wrap it around and put a piece on the back as like a base piece or something. No, I'm going to do like a patchwork, cut cut them like two inch squares. Yeah. And do them on like, you know, mismatch around. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put like a grid so you can kind of tuck it in or are you going to? No. Just come on that way. Okay. It was good uh, ornament, you know, where they kind of made the slices like orange slices in it so that you can put the fabric in. No. <laughs> Oh, wow, why am I choking? <coughs> I know I have because Dollar Tree had um these quilting fabrics mm -hmm. cut into two inch strips. And one of them is uh has a it's pink and it has like the Eiffel Tower on it. Yes. So I thought that would be cute on the heart. That's one thing I can't find now. See these little wood hearts, they'd be cute to do. I know a lot of people like to do the Mackenzie. Just just cute little things you could do with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hang on a second. Give me some give me a flat edge. I'm gonna make some <laughs> on this stuff. Yeah, uh, Give me some McKenzie on here. Victoria, yeah, that one. So I say, so I say I am. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm freestyling. 
but that's what's fun, right? New style. Okay. Pre-handed, pre-something. You can't find those little pieces of paper. Oh my gosh. And I hear I was bragging about you being able just to find, just reach over there and find something. I was like, what? Because what I could really reach out and find is stuff that I use a lot. Mm-hmm. Then that one I was sorting, I was definitely trying to do that. Pull out, you know, get, I had a lot of decorations around me. I wanted to kind of get that out of I, it. I found these at Dollar Tree too. Oh, those are cute. What are those? Is it a it's stick? An applique. It's an applique. Oh. I like VW um, vans. Uh-huh. So I got a That's few of those. Not alike. <laughs> and I glued it to the front of my planner. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, oh, that is really sweet. That is so sweet. And it's like an applique, like uh, to iron clothes, like applique, or for. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any sticky on the back, so you probably have to hand sew you it. Have on. To, okay. Or sew it with the machine. Mm hmm. That's a great idea, though. Oof! I'm trying to keep my square, my things really loose, but I'm getting. Hi, Fabi. Hey, Bobby. What have you? It's getting really hot. <laughs> I know. That is terrible. Yeah, you got to work on your, but you need to get you some little fans because when you have that light on. I had a little um, USB fan from Dollar Tree yeah. and it broke it up. up. It broke up. It broke. Yeah. You can't expect much for, for, for a dollar. Yeah. What I did for the the beads on top, I drilled holes on the two higher pieces here. Uh-huh. And, and wrapped some jute in there. Okay. And just strung the beads on. Oh, are you just joining us? I need to show you what I made. It's pretty funny. It's my it's my dark heart delivery truck. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> I go, where it went. Yeah, for the lonely was, hearts. That's what I made. My very see everything was so bright and colorful, and I just pulled a Jerry on it, made it dark. So that was what I did for fun. And I'm just kind of doing some interesting patterns on here, just because I can, because it's what else you're gonna do. May as well. See, this is what happens when I'm working. Everything starts piling. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. My work area turns into. And, and then problem. after I finish a project, I have to put everything back. Because mm -hmm. if not, I won't be able to find anything. No, no. Honey, my, okay. So real arts would have like an assistant or something. I can do that for you. You know, yeah. you know what we do that. We tend to, we use up a lot of our creativity in, in, our, in our creativity time and mm -hmm. energy doing that kind of the mundane, the housework. But yeah, if I could, if all I could do was just sit and be an artist, other things I could get done. I just want to okay. do Kind of feeling that, oh no, I scratched you up. Oh, but what happened here? I was trying to, the, the boxes that I showed you earlier from Michael's, uh -huh. I was trying to see if I could do something for my Calyx unit. Right. But but four, four of them in a row is too long. And three oh, of them are too short. And that's why I was worried that if I tried to make something for what I'm on an existing shelf, I would run into that problem. So, so I, I need uh, to make something custom. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to like that color, though. I'm trying. Oh, I was going to say, why? No. scroll on today. Yeah. Huh? When I was cleaning out the bathroom closet. Right. I found some, uh, some of this um, quarter-inch plywood. Wait a minute. That is going to be cool. So I'm so oh, many possibilities. I know. And Jerry, who's never painted a, um, recall that pattern, that that diamond pattern? I don't, I don't, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> Courtney, I think it is. Courtney, Courtney, yeah, that sounds Courtney right. Check. Mm-hmm. Not diamond. Yeah, diamond. That's diamond. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I never no. I I don't know if I can freehand it, but I'm trying. JJ. It was bad. I'm doing a terrible job. But the good news is I can always pin over it. Come here, it's, please. Okay. I was just pulling everything out and, and 
I have no room here. <laughs> so yeah, failing this one. We're not looking. Don't look. I'm doing a terrible job. I may have to free. I may have to actually draw them on first. Oh no, you don't want that much paint. I may have to draw actually draw my pattern for this one. I'm gonna have to draw it. I can't. I can't. Just put it on the, on, on the record player for now. So embarrassed. So embarrassed by my lack of skills here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> lack of skills, you now. Nah. This is not a thing. I'm, okay, I'm just just not, not happening. It's not happening. I'm telling you. I think because I'm kind of going about it the wrong. I'm trying to work with the brush. Let the brush do the work. <laughs> Please. Just look at me like you lost your mind, woman. This is not what I'm designed for. I got these these succulent planters at Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. They were blue and white. So I, I, I put oh, a, this is so cute. So I put a this coat of cute. um primer on it because I want to paint them red and white. Mm -hmm. I like the red truck. I think that'd be precious. You got some ideas. Well, thank goodness we got started already. How many of you have already started making your Valentine stuff? Because apparently you got to start in December. Stay ahead of the game here. Well, I did my first one on Sunday. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure when when my next one's gonna come out. <laughs> well, that hey, that's that's you got started. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just well, I'm basically just doing the pattern. I don't want to know. Hey! This is so bad. Y'all, this is so bad. This is like the worst. You didn't do everything, Bobby. Plan ahead on next time we decide to do this and on a live. I can't <laughs> even do this. Even and how okay, I gotta put I gotta put it down so I can see what I'm doing. So once again, the wet paint yeah. creates a glare and it makes it really hard for me to see what I'm doing. But that's what's fun about these little heart shapes. You're like, I got a million of them, I don't care, I can do whatever I want on them, and I'm doing it. I'm so doing it, obviously. People are looking at it, yes, you are, Jerry. You are doing those hearts. Uh year Here's old. some of my other sketches that I've done. Oh, that is amazing. Let me get, I need to get a good shot and get that in the camera. That is beautiful. What did you use that one? Was that pen and ink? Pen and, pen, pen and pencil. I used oh, a pencil for the shader. that looks, see, I love doing those. I love it. Could you just chill and just, and you just, yeah. it, and I, you know. You don't think it, about it. Just, and let it be. Just let it become this thing. There's another but one I did here. It does, it definitely, it, you get okay. So for so the reason you sketch a lot as an artist and you draw these things, you create a muscle memory of just how to use your tools and how to make your hands do what you want them to do. So even if you're not like, well, I'm not an artist, so I'm not carry on sketchbook and do it. Yes, it's it's training for your hands to create that muscle memory for two draws, anything, or just do how to use your tools in new ways. And I am not even, I cannot believe I'm saying that while I'm making the biggest, hottest mess out of these things. I can't wrap my mind around this shape, apparently. Okay, that is ugly. But it, it works so well with this heart. I'm not even, I can't complain. I think it's just meant to happen, you know? That's why you're always like, okay, we well need to, you know, get your sketchbook out, do some sketches. It's just to train your, it's for training. Yeah. Oh my. And, not, and not worrying, because when you're trying to do something, and that's why you'll see a lot of artists will have like their sketches going on something that they're working really hard on, because you don't want to keep messing up on something you're working on and getting frustrated. That way you can just kind of experiment with your, on your other paper. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This okay, one is, this is such a disgusting color. I'm putting just, this was just just uh, marker, like blue marker. Oh, I love it. Now see, and yeah, we do these things all the time. We did this thing with we did a monogram. So those are little, yeah, those are exercises. I think are great making. And this one is good because you each square is a different pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at your lettering. It's awesome. You hand it. You just hand did that. Yes, I did it with pencil first. Awesomeness. Yes. You're good. Now, did you do anything with art in school? No. Yeah. So when you, oh my gosh, what have I just done? When you were in school, do you remember them having like an art gift, any kind of program for gifted art or anything like that when you were in school? Or do they even have a good art program? A lot of schools. Didn't. I don't remember. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's one that I used, the rubber stamp. 
and some colored pencils. Oh, because usually you would just give them one elective. What do you remember what you had for an elective? I had um home ec. Yeah. Which it should not be an elective. It should be a mandatory. Yay! There you go. That truck is awesome. Yeah. It's a rubber stamp and they use pencil. Oh, it was a rubber stamp? Yeah. What? Okay. And then you drew over it? Nice. That's a brilliant I idea. I just colored over it. Uh-huh. So one thing we would do is, and I have like a little another example. No. Uh, we would take magazines. We did a lot with magazines. And you draw, and they would draw like lines and scribbles and things through uh, art, you know, something in a magazine, like a picture of a person and just, mm -hmm. just sketch lines. But it was really more or less to say, you know, make those cross hatches and do all that just to get their little hands kind of used to doing that kind of weird I did stuff. that in college. Mm -hmm. I did a, a 18 by 24 on vellum. Yeah, and, and, Ooh, and, and vellum. Yeah, it's so nice. Know, do, 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 do different patterns on it. Mm -hmm. And it's cool. It comes out really nice. And like I said, and I, and I also took a class crazy. where they, you get um the the materials that you make rubber stamps with. Yes, and you, and you carve your own stamp. Oh yeah, the um <laughs> rubber is rubber basically. What's it called? Latex. Or is it latex or was it rubber, rubber? Probably rubber. <gasps> no, y'all did it out of wood or or, or, or the uh, flooring stuff, right? You're talking mm -hmm. about block printing? Huh? Did y'all do a block print type? What was linoleum print? Something like like that linoleum print, but it was it, it didn't have any wood on it. Okay, it was probably just, I have some of that linoleum block. Yeah. Yeah, I keep meaning to make something out of that stuff. Okay. That, that, See, that okay. Oh, that's why everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, all this stuff. I have materials I actually make my own stuff. And I don't do that. I'm not gonna buy it. I gotta make it first. <laughs> so I'm just trying to polish this little pig right on up. Yeah, it's it's um let me see what happens. Yeah, y'all like really rough hand painted stuff, right? Who was the one that was like, oh, you know, oh, I'd be funny. She's the one who's like, oh, yeah, I just it needs to be. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on your team right now because this is very loose, very um, one of a kind <laughs> pattern going here. No consistency. Those are the all. most expensive artworks. Very, very creepy looking in its own way. Bless its heart. You can't help it. One of a kind is, is the most expensive artwork, isn't it? Though it's very unique. I'm gonna come back, come back over that red nice. again. That's pretty sad looking. Yeah, yeah. So the I, I think I kind of pulled it off with. The, I think I was trying to make too small of a shape with the too big of a brush. I think if I used a smaller. Now this is not the right brush for this either. If I tried using a different brush, I maybe could have pulled that off. I don't know. Too late now because I've moved on to this mess. Yeah. Use your tools correctly, which is another thing what ske sketchbooks are for. So you can just kind of play around and not feel like you're making, you're having to produ produce something. You're just practicing. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's really not what I had in mind, but I like it. So it came out to be, it's a thing. I made a thing. So thanks for shaming friends. Yes, we like to shame our friends. I got to go back to the birthday princess. Yes. Oh, she's still up. I do need to go back and say, hey, what? I gotta, we do need to go check in on her again when we're done. Tell her, hang on. We'll be back. We're about, we're about, wrap, about wrapped up. About wrapped up, maybe. <laughs> maybe. She's still well, on? I think so. I guess so. Uh, Nancy, your drawings are spectacular. I love them. Uh, Erica says they didn't have a good program here. I know they don't. It was an elderly man who only wanted us to use Prisma color pencils. But yeah, did he teach you how to use them? That was the other thing. You know, I had a student who I basically had one student at one school that I had, I would drive over to see her. And I said, what do you want to do? Because you're pretty much sky's the limit with you because you mean do whatever you want to do. And so she, her mother bought her Prismacolors. I said, we're going to work with Prismacolors. So I brought mine and we just worked with what I had. And it was just easier for me to bring mine than keep trying, you know, bringing it in and out of my classroom. And it was just one girl. But so she learned uh, how to use Prismacolors, how to take care of your Prismacolors, things like that. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. I just got that set last year. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there you go. You'll learn it. You got this. You're doing really well already. Now, blending your colors and really blending, and I'm talking seriously blending. We did some, you know, a lot of blending of color on those things. That's what I want to look yeah. get, get more into. Talking about, you know, what colors you want to blend together to create different, you know, your cools to make some sh shadows and things like that. So you don't always think of, I just did a little corner. Don't laugh. Okay, you can laugh now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some more over here because I don't like it. I'm going to get some reds going. Oh, man, once you start getting these darks on here, that, that, that red does not want to brighten back up. That's for sure. Better? Better. I'm going to add something to that in a minute. This one? Hmm. I'm going to do some drawing. With some pencils. Not that somewhat dry. Oops. I pulled it too much. Into, <laughs> and I, okay, I had to do that one stitch again. Say, but yeah, and then she's talking about it, that Tiff was still on live. Is that what she's talking well, about? I think Fabi's daughter's birthday is today, oh, too. It's her birthday. Bar oh, that birthday. Okay, yes, you do need to get back to your birthday, girl. Aww. Because Tip popped on here, but you know, you can do that when you're, um, you can get on two channels at once. So. Yeah. It's confusing for me, but some people are really good at it. Usually, I was trying to do uh, my, on my, and ha you know, have the other show going, but I did not charge. I didn't charge my, um, my iPad, and it was bad. So it was going, it was like 3%. I said, okay, well, next time, be prepared. I think I raised Boy Scouts. They're Eagle Scouts, and I was never prepared. <laughs> I failed that one. I do um when I do my my oh, lives on my channel, I use mm -hmm. um the both cameras. Mm -hmm. So they can. I did, yeah, I want to do that. I was just having some audio issues, but I know how to fix it now. I just haven't made that time to just sit down and check it, and you know. That's the problem. Where do you find extra time? Mm hmm. I don't know if y'all can see the little pencil lines on here. I'm fixing that some white. Now, when you do this and then you spray it, that pops a lot more. The colors really pop better. Spray it with what? Uh, you spray it with your your varnish because the okay. moisture makes it, you know, pop better. There's another heart. And she just whipped that one right up too. She's fast. Th this is something I made that is probably one of my favorites, mm -hmm. a custom a custom uh toy you're right that is inc unbelievable that head on that bear is amazing and his it skates come so off cute. he's got ice skates oh, on too oh my gosh that is too cute see that, that's the body before i put mm -hmm. the clothes on i'm I, I can't believe it and you and you can do it pretty mm -hmm. quick you work quickly i wish i worked faster that's, I haven't I haven't remade them again. So, but I now now that I've been um, making my own patterns, mm -hmm. even if I don't make it again, I write all the information down. Right. Because uh, somebody, right, right. somebody asked for something that I made, mm -hmm. and I go, I only made it once, and I didn't write anything down. Oh, so you just like freehanded that thing. You just what do you want to whatever you call that? Yes, sir. Hello, husband. Yeah, I couldn't find a pattern for it, so I, yeah, I made my own. office. I've already, I've already mentioned that I totally, totally made it just destroyed. But I got, I got a bad case of squirrel in the middle of it, and they did cut the boxes down. All right, made you my son. Shading, if I hold it, yeah. Oh, that is so. Oh my gosh, Minecraft. Oh, what is his name? What's his name from Minecraft? Yeah, no. yeah. Don't but, don't ask me what they call that. He's yeah. one of those. What's it? Mm. Ross. Yeah, my son played that many, many times. He designed all sorts of stuff. He was incredible. He's pretty, cra pretty good, pretty crafty. That if one. I find a pattern, I, I, um, mm -hmm. I use the pattern either free or, or I buy it, mm -hmm. or I make my own like this one. You kind of get the idea know. from seeing some other patterns and kind of go from there, right? Oh, that's so cute. That's, that's my Ninjago. Yeah. And his, and his hood comes off. 
Oh, I do love me some Legos now. Don't leave. Yeah, I love Legos. That is cute. See, I knew what you're talking about. I knew those were Legos. <laughs> uh, so, so, and this was, is a, this is one I made of myself. Oh, uh, that is <laughs> yes, because you like him a lot. Actually, I don't. I made it for a customer. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's kind of cute. I wish I had some. Let me hit this with mm, ow. spray, 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 spray. I brought that. Where did I put it? That's oh, by the door. I'm going to hit this with spray so I can show you. Okay, so here's before. Ding. Let me hit it with the spray and show you the after. Yes, please. And then walk in with it, we all die. Oh, it's oh, strong, 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 strong. And then, see, oh, it's nice and shiny, but yeah, a little bit more. Oh, that's cool. It's a little bit more intense now. Do you see the black's a lot more intense? Would it stay shiny like that? Oh, this will, yeah, because I use gloss. Yeah, I had the gloss on me as well. I did my, the, 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 the chessboard that I made mm -hmm. with the Jenga blocks. I use epoxy on top to to, to oh, yes. That 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 came out nice. Epoxy was the word I was looking for. That I was think I was thinking resin, but I was really thinking epoxy. Yes. But same yeah. thing. I mean it's pretty Yeah. Nice. The same family. Okay. Yeah. Here's the, the chess board or checkers. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Now this is a, now this was the infrared kind, you you know, is that what you're no. talking about? The no, this, the, this is the one that you let that have to sit let it sit overnight. Okay. And, that's mm -hmm. at least twenty four hours. Okay. But look how shiny it is. I love it. It's beautiful. It makes a difference on, on this. Now board. what chess pieces do you have? That you, uh -huh. you make some chess pieces for that too. That's what I was waiting for my blades for. Oh, so you're gonna cut them out? Yes. Yes, I am. I don't know. Uh -huh. You do a lot with Jenga. I was like, mm. John from What If I Could Have Scroll. Yes. He he um sent me to um the Steve Good web website, and then he has different um patterns for patterns him. for for those. Yeah. So I got I got one. As the, for that, I need to get some some different um wood because it's um at least half inch uh -huh. to cut them. But I have I, I downloaded the pattern already, so I got a lot of ideas. It's just needing the extra time and yeah. Oh, I, that's and that was thinking on any more projects was just not going to work because I was I had so much that I really want to do the stuff that I've got. Mm -hmm. And I can have stuff from the 90s. Let me get a better line on this now. Mm -hmm. This is a harder. It's actually kind of scratching it. I, I decided. Um, well, I didn't the... spray this side, by the way. That's why I'm still drawing on it. Because I didn't put the spray on this side. I kind of just hit that corner. I decided I that I'm going to do either one or two collabs per month. Because mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of work. It is. It really is. Uh, and I like, um, doing this stuff, but I don't, it's, it's I, I, I don't, I don't like editing <laughs> at all. I hate the editing process. Too much time. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. It needs to be well, right. it, it, it's the, the getting it scheduled on time and everything's like when you're doing your own, like, okay, I can do this video next week. I don't have to finish it now. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. And uh, that but, is but, the thing. But if you do a collab, it has to go yeah. out that day. And well, you know, and I, I love doing the collabs, but for years I didn't do collab. I mean, well, I say for years, for mm -hmm. a year, I didn't do that kind of stuff. But I was still mm -hmm. getting views, and I was still getting um, that's you know, subs and things like that. And I was like, but I enjoy doing it because you're. It's, I've met more personal. You know, I've gotten yeah. It's so much more. You know, like I said, got great. Uh, more of a community when you do those. 
Yeah, so there. I think I'm going to uh, figure out a way to do half matte, half. I know my lighting's like, well, it's that dark, guys, first of all. But my lighting is pretty dark in here. And that when I, I'm in a shadow when I, by my. That'd be interesting. My half and half. shadow right here. Huh? I said that'd be interesting half and half. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start with something that's um, like this that, you know, I put a little bit of detail into, but then the more I add, the more interesting it gets. And that's like those little hearts. And then this one, okay, so I like the stages of my hearts here. I have <laughs> I love this. So that's kind of boring, you know, then put a little details like that in it. Oh, that and then, in yeah, and then you just kind of go a little nuts to keep them, like I said, keeping them, all, oh, wow, I can't hold it. I don't want to touch it. For some of this to this. Have some fun, peeps. I want to see some fun. Don't be afraid. It's okay. You can make them dark and a little bit creepy. Hi, Rainbow. Rainbow is um, coming. Always Rock. good to see you. I forgot Rainbow's name again. Erica. What was it? Erica. She's mm -hmm. going back to working on her waterfall cave. Oh, so she's been doing what, some really what's cool. What's a waterfall stuff. cave? I, I, well, I'm pretty sure she's working with um, a lot of wood now, and she's doing a lot of stuff with the resins. She is where, is okay. Resin, she's incorporating that resin look in, into water. Uh, if I know her, but I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm just guessing. I might be right though. Am I right? Am I kind of on the? I'm on the right track. Hey, Deborah Bowser's are here. Hey, Janine. Hey, oh, by the Hello. way, yeah, we kind of got on a little bit better today than we normally do. We were at least we're on, but I was really yeah, trying to make it a big mess. So I had to show you my truck. So I had this really cute little truck going. And then I had to go Jerry on it and get a little bit dark, a little bit more, you know, mm, you know, in the mood. Of kind of dark, Hall like Halloween meets Valentine's Day kind of thing. Gothic hearts. But yeah, I, let's see. I popped in some questions. What I kind of did pretty good announcing. I think I did a better job trying to get this thing started today. Usually, I'm all over the place because that's our role. But we've had it. We've gotten. Um, we've had a good day today. It's been fun. Yes. Good crowd. I got something off here. Good. You're talking about epoxy and water. I'm gonna show you something. But Nancy, you know, Nancy's also um, has joined uh, her, uh, subscribed to Janine. I want to say I have learned a lot with Janine. And I and I really, y'all need to check out her uh, webs, her, I'm sorry, her channel. And, she, and I say website because there's also a website. She can mm -hmm. really help people who want to grow in. So, see, that's what I'm thinking. She's doing something like that. You okay. just really do some, oh, you do some good stuff. That's so my little waterfall cabin out of those huh? are like bitty sticks. Those are the skewer sticks, too. I'm glad. <laughs> See what she does? See how it's, she got, does? it's got a little front porch. Mm -hmm. And your roof is made out of the, um, the skewer sticks, too. Yes. I use my cutoff saw uh -huh. to cut them all even. So cute. So cute. So I glue them on first and then use my saw to cut it off. Mm hmm. And um, for some reason, my trees are falling. I'm, I'm missing two. Oh, no. <laughs> I, have a, I, I found this really cool house at a thrift store. You know, my favorite little thrift store. It's kind of like that. You know, it's not in a big scene. It's mm -hmm. big. But I do need it. I want to fix it up, make it cool looking. So I added a bunch my, of pencil color. This is the, to this give is it the first color. time I used um, air dry clay. Yes. And it and it, it started to crack everywhere. It's, pa it's paper mache, correct? It's the, the Crayola. Mm -hmm. Crayolas, yeah. That is, and if it's, it, it cracks easily. We do, we've, uh, it's a problem. It is a problem. I know. I wish we could figure out what to do because it is kind of cool to work with, but it does not like to be on another surface. It will crack on another surface. And, it, and it, I had to glue under it because it started lifting up the, from the wood too. Yes. I I've, I know I've had trouble with it in the past as well. I know it's a thing. I like to tr try anything at least once to see if I, I like it or not. Now, now air dry can you still have some? You can use it for yeah. other things. You just have to be careful of how you use it. It, it does its own thing. It, you know, it's got to yeah. be. Doing, it can't be attached to something else to really get the best use out of it. 
And but talking about doing earrings and things like that, air, air dry clay makes some really cool stuff. I mean, there is a lot you can do with it, but not. Yeah, I, use it, I use it for the stems of my pumpkins. Mm -hmm. I mean, I enjoy sculpting with it, but yeah, you don't dare. I don't put yellow in here. I don't know why, but I'm just driven to do is, this. There, is there a secret when making hills like that? Do you have to do it in layers also or no i think it's always going to crack it's just it's, it's just gonna gonna be a problem but layers is not a bad try, a, a idea you could try that mm -hmm. but i think every time you add a damp to that paper like it so you're adding a damp layer to that dry layer it may cause Bye, Merv. to reactivate thanks for coming gotta go having a great evening thank you i need to, I need to find him you know, he lives right down the road from me i know he's like yes, i heard that i know so yeah i'm booking in some more weird details on this one mm -mm -mm. i'm hoping i can meet up with you and annie when you get done i here. know i know so we are shooting for getting on there friday and then do i uh, go live on friday night and then we will do um and then saturday we're going to go run around town and do, have some fun stuff so that's when we're trying to get together so yes i will, I will definitely want to that would be amazing that'd be fun I know. Now, how old is your son? He is a teen. He's a teenager, but how old is he? He's 16. He'll be 17 mm -hmm. in June. And then her son is, I guess, a senior this year, but he's, is he 18? He's still 17, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is getting kind of fun. I'm kind of digging this. I could do this. I could do this. I could have fun with this. So I want y'all to try some, try something like this. Just get you some sweet little Valentine's. And then just get dark. Put a lot of black on them. And Dollar Tree has, has, has a lot of those, those little that hearts now. Yeah. Remember, art's supposed to make you feel something. You look at them, you go, yeah, that's that's weird. Then good, I got a reaction out of you. One, two, three, four. Okay. I get lost and I forget what, what, what number I'm on. The thing is like um, the craft, what's the difference between arts and craft? Or I think what's the difference between arts and crafts? Yeah, that uh, you're supposed to get like evoke, you know, emotions or feelings. Art should do that kind of thing for you. But no, yeah, a lot of uh, crafts do that too. You got some really cute, like makes you like, oh, or makes you feel like the word. Like a lot of people like, I don't have any words in my house. And I think about it. I never have the things with the words. Now I have something that says, welcome. <laughs> I probably need more motivation. Like right by my bed, I need a thing that says, go to sleep. And so, and then in the morning, you flip it over, and it says, "Get up, <laughs> <laughs> get something." You done. got this, girl. Get something done. Time. Yes. Ugh. Right. Hey, Robin's back. What did you? What did I miss? Okay, so I've made a bunch more dark heart. She's still working on hers, finishing up the uh, the little details. And uh, hey, Grace does it. Uh, toys thread or buy. Oh my gosh, I mean, you both, girl. I love being, but love shopping from the stuff. So, I'm taking just the wood cutouts that I had and I'm darkening, making dark patterns. We we're talking about McKinsey, so I was trying to create the like mm, courtyard check or whatever they're calling that. Oh, I see what I, I think it's Courtney's check. Okay, that's what I heard. Um, oh, it's Courtney, Courtney. But it's actually called, I think, it has. A I don't know. Like That's what it. I hear. Um, I want to say it's Jackson. That that pattern's called J A Q U R D. Whatever, maybe I don't know. Check in real life. I mean, like not just her pattern, just the. Name <laughs> of the pattern. Yeah. So I just add a lot of pencil to it and fun stuff, scratches. Um, it's more yellow. This needs more yellow. See, like I said, I'll do the name later, so just in case someone wants yeah, to buy it. See what a horrible wife I am. Like my husband's home, and he eats out all the time. That's all he always eats out. He goes home. I'm like, oh good, I'm gonna go out to eat tonight, because then I don't go out to eat. I never go out to eat. So, yeah, it's you know, and so when he's home, he's probably like, I want a good home cooked meal, and I'm like, I'm gonna go out to eat. <laughs> Bad wife, Bad. might have been working. I can't help it. A little bit light. So when I hold this up, I see things that I don't see like in real life. Isn't that funny? Like, Same thing here when I'm recording. Mm -hmm. I look up at the at the at the screen. It's like, where is that? Why is that looking that way? 
Yeah, ah, that's a good way to break your all your tacos. <coughs> anyway, getting back to like watching today. I didn't get to watch Denine today because I was trying to get my things set up. I was running into some issues and I wanted to watch uh, Tiff because it was a birthday. But she is mm -hmm. running that, that thing for every day. She's doing the live. But they're very good videos to watch as well. And you learn just so much. She's very organized in how she lays it out so you can get a yes. lot. Yes. Had some good pointers yesterday for sure. I think I wrote one down. I did. Call, oh, yeah. Call for action. So my call for action today is make some dollars. You know, don't, don't you want to make a Is this inspiring you to make some darker, more, you know, you know, not, so, not so cheerful pink and green, pink and white and red hearts. To step out of your comfort zone. Yes. Try something different. Yes. And it's a great way to use all this paint that you pulled out and didn't use. I'm looking for anything I can paint right now. <laughs> what else do I have? Yeah, and I, I kind of always said I'm not big on keeping things, no, the the color out of the bottle. I'm, I really like to kind of mix my colors anyway. So I'm going to make this one a little bit redder. So once you go with these really dark backgrounds, it's really hard to pull your reds back. You're going to always have like a burr. Perfect. Look what I got, Robin. I got my blades in. I'm kind of digging the patterns, though. I am enjoying making the little patterns. I'm going to figure out a way to add that in again to this one. With this smaller brush, preferably. Oh, thank you, Robin. Robin, I do love the thing you made the other night, uh, last night. That thing was amazing. It was really uh, very artsy. That's extremely artistic. I think we need to give that a really cool name. So I'm terrible about naming artwork. I never could name my artwork. But I had this one kid. He could pull these names out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. goes, I'm calling this such and such. And you're like, what? It, where did you get that name? That's awesome, you know? I can never name a work of art ever. This is coming up in a video next week. Oh, my gosh. The tiny books. Out of... Um, what are those? Like dominoes. What do you make those out of? Jenga blocks. The, oh, you cut them down. I cut, I, I, cut the, I cut the width down, right? Mm -hmm. And then with my rotary um, um saw, yes, I cut, I cut the groove in the middle of, of both, two of them. Oh, to okay. It, to make it four. Look like, like it's four. bigger. Yeah, to make it look like there's, there's two blocks, but it's cut to look like four. Look at you. That is that is so smart. That, that's a, the collab I'm doing with um, Corey. The, yes. The mini and, you with, and you're going to put that with your little, is that the scale for your little house? Your little room? It is actually it? is. Oh, you are something else. I wasn't planning on it. And mm -hmm. then I put it on the, the, the coffee table. Yes. And it it is perfect. perfect. Here, I got a picture of it on the coffee table. Oh my gosh. I am so already off on these. This is, look. On my table. It's it's storable and your little uh cheer train. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't planning on, on doing mm -hmm. that for the coffee table, but, but once I finish this um challenge, it's going to the living room. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you got a spammer. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Can I get them off of here? I got you. Actually, you can't, but I'm just going oh, to in timeout. Okay. Oh, I put them in timeout so I blocked them. Should have blocked them. Uh, <laughs> let's see how Nancy does. Little books are adorable. And uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Hey, boss lady. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Steve, she, she, <laughs> I do love her channel. You should check it out. If you haven't checked it out yet, go just check it out because she does has some really good advice, especially if you are doing live streams. She can give you some things you just hadn't thought about. You're like, oh, you know what? That may make a difference. You know, that may help. Especially if you're like kind of stuck, like, I don't know what to do with my channel this year. Do I want to go just do lives or do I want to It's going to be helpful with that as well. If you really need some help, then she does offer, she does have a service that she offers. Okay, what have I done? My squares. Are really the, the more I'm doing them, mm -hmm. the more comfortable I'm getting. Yes, absolutely. Well, you learn, once you mess up everything and you survive, you know, when the, if something, you have technical issues and you get through it and you're like, hey, 
I can do anything now. <laughs> I get through these technical issues. I'm good. When I was doing my my snowman last year, mm -hmm. I, I when I did the, the live, everything was was happening. The paint didn't want to glue. I mean, the glue didn't want to glue. Oh my god! I was, getting, I was getting paint in other spots of the of the. It was crazy. Now that if you are, um, it's like this. Like I'm doing the worst job I've ever seen, but it kind of is forcing me to say, okay, I got to do something different on these, on these like. I obviously can't freehand checkerboard like I wanted to. <laughs> so horrible. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, that's not something you want to do for reals. But I'm working with it, and that's what's important. I'm like, okay, uh, take this, and I can do something else with it. And so that's got to think on that fly, man. Got to be creative on the fly. And you are so creative. Now, do you plot out your work? I have some great questions. There. No. Kind of great. They just kind of, like I say, mine just kind of morph into this thing. Like, I come up, you know. I, like I'm, I'm part of the Mystery Box Challenge mm -hmm. next week. I'm doing two or three, like I said, uh, either two or three a month. And um, it started out of something, and right. it turned into something else, and it turned into something else, and it turns <laughs> into actually. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. I think I like it. I like what I did here. So yeah. So a lot of my my videos, people don't understand that I'm recording it, if, especially if it's something that I've, I never made before. Mm -hmm. That I'm recording it as I go. And yeah, I'm things, really interested to see happen. what happened with my camera. Why it quit recording? I think I have I've killed it because I have so much footage I need to get off. Which is another thing that because I want to use a camera for this. Mm, yeah. yeah, not my phone anymore. Yeah, I see how long it lasts this time. Yeah, it was just like kicking me off just then. So maybe I can get to last longer. Okay, so the more off I got on my on my pattern, the worse this thing looks. So I am just going to work with that. Let's put a lot more on it this time. So hi, Nancy. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Hang on. Let's see what says show. Let's see what that is. So sometimes I'll do. Why am I clicking on my finger? Okay. I have a, a, your hearts. Okay. I love your video. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, they're my little dark hearts. These uh, colored ones are looking really good. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm happy with them. I want a pattern on these now that I'm stuck. <gasps> but you know what I've got, which I didn't think about before. Hang on. Somewhere around me, or where I stuck it. Oh, there it is. Why have I done this? I don't know. I got a hot glue on where I didn't want it. I've got this pattern I've never used before. This little thing, and it's like two of them. One's big and one's small. That thrifted. I'm afraid it's a small one. And there is by act it's called this Moroccan accents. I don't know who makes it. Hang on. Stencil Ease makes them. And it was originally like $2.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I got thrifted. It was in a goodie bag. So I'm gonna play with this one a minute. Let's see if I can I got some stencil brushes somewhere. I can pounce it. I have I have some stencils. I never use stencils, but I just I don't know why I just don't. But now I should. Oh my goodness! See, if I go do this, I'm gonna get so excited. I'm gonna be going. Oh no, it's not. Oh, you know what? That's not the stencil. This is so it's just the one stencil, and it's huge. Maybe too big for what I need. That's pretty big. Kind of, it's consuming my heart here. Oh no, it's consuming your heart. It's consuming my heart. There's a story in it. Oh, let me see. In the pouncy department. Uh, <coughs> okay. And they got something. Something's always following him around here. Y'all notice that? Something do like red and then come back with black. And I'll never line these back up, will I? Look pouncy to me. Can, can I share um, the, the, the spammers black? Okay, yeah, you can, you can get rid of them. You should be able to do it. Or they Robin should be able, may be able to do it. And yeah, don't do a lot. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, it's not showing up very well. Hmm. It's really not showing up on this. I need more light in it. 
I will never get this back where I had it. I'm not looking too good. Can I share what I'm doing on Saturday? Yes. I'm having an auction for some items that I that I've made on YouTube or not on YouTube. Okay. I don't know like, why like, what? That you made or not made. You either made them or not made them on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, before I was on YouTube, I made a bunch of stuff. Oh, yes. That's true. Right. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, so what's got? I'm going to show you one of my big, my bigger items. Hold on. I think I've showed it before, but I'll go get it. So I put my trash out because I had a dog, can of dog food in it. And, you know, they stink. And my dog's gotten in my trash today. And they don't do that. I mean, they're not bad. You know, they never bothered the bag of trash. They smell that dog food can, so they got in there. I think I my husband's taking garbage out now. Mm -mm -mm. So I want, oh, I always have another, I have stencils with letters on them. I have one that says happy birthday. Yeah, no, they have birthday. Yeah, I don't have any cool stencils over here. Now, I have an ornament that looks like a stencil. Maybe. Raise my camera up. But I run in the stencil part, and I have letters, but I think it'd be weird to put a few on there or an R or, you know, these kind of stencils. And that's are these birdhouses. That is Oh, those are cute. Now, did you make the birdhouses or did you have. They're about Dollar Tree houses. Okay. And then this one here looks like a lifeguard stand. Oh, that is so cute. That's a good idea. No, see, no, you know, it looks like to me, it looks like a lifeguard, but it looks like a water tower. Or like an, oh, no, fire. It looks like a oh, fire towers. <laughs> have you ever been in a fire tower? No. Oh, so when I was a teenager, we have a fire tower here in town. And well, I guess it's still up, but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You're on the woods. So that was like the thing. It's called the Hilly Fire Tower. And everybody, you know, you weren't supposed to climb it. Of course, we all did. Because we're mm -hmm. bad, you know, because we're evil kids. That thing is scary. Oh, yeah. And you can never do it during the day. You always had to go and do it in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah. So I am kind of blocked that person. I and I have, I have this one here. That's beautiful. Your stitches are amazing. You really do a good job. She's a little ballerina. She is the cutest. Now, see, I am, I would think you could do more things with that, like on Etsy and stuff. I've tried. And you say you're going to auction these things? Yes. Yes. They are. Really I've had, cool. I've had her on Etsy. Some crippling technique going on here. I had her on Etsy for over a year. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. But even like to say, I will, make, you know, I make custom colors and all. It didn't help. Huh? Yes, that, that's in the, in the comments too. I don't know what to do with all that. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've even tried eBay, Etsy, mm -hmm. Marketplace. Well, I, I, yeah, I sold a lot of my dolls on eBay, but I have some that just, they're just not selling right now. And I, I don't know. I think eBay's really suffering. I think people are, are not buying right now either. We are apparently. <laughs> Stop us. It looks like a weird face. Look at this. Mm -hmm. My heart looks like a weird oh, face. It does look like a very strange, yeah. Uh -huh. Turn it sideways where the, the ones that's mad, the, the crocheted pieces is now. It really looks there weird. You go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But it's gonna it's gonna do this once I finish with a name. So mm -hmm. yes. And it does look like a face now. Yeah, it's cute. Are you can put your, uh, put someone else's name on there or what? Or just have well, it I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it open so that way if someone wants to buy it, go. you got or you order go. or order one. Oh, I was going to ask, what did you put the name, your tiles on? What's under the tiles? Just a piece of wood or it's under the by, letter? It's a quarter inch by quarter inch wood dial. Okay. I like those. In fact, um, I had some of those I was using for my my yarn. Uh, these are, uh, my God's eyes. Mm -hmm. And I got, I used, we used some of those at school for the God size and they came out really cool. It was just different. And, it, and it's not for three feet. It's a dollar fifty two. Uh-huh. So I get a lot from from one from one of these, right? And I use these as well for the uh, merry-go-rounds um, mm -hmm. base. Yeah, so those are cool pieces. I think you think dowel. You know, nobody thinks to get that kind of dowel, but those are just mm -hmm. right here. Look, these are mm -hmm. the, the square dowels too, right? 
So when you do your uh, God's eyes or mandalas or have whatever you, what do you call them? Do you call them God's eyes? Have you I, made, I said you made some when you were little. Have you made any? Yeah. I haven't made anything recently. I think you would enjoy doing those too. Cause you're, you know, yeah, I have to do, do, different, do the different directions and do all the different. Mm -hmm. So that was slipping really bad on that stuff. And it was very stretchy. Ooh. It's a, a non stretchy yarn like cotton. And I do have a few cottons. Let me get some um, highlights in here. Oh, that's more dark. I don't know. Dark in the middle. My magnifier just wants to just fall. What made me just, the brush was dirty. May as well. I'm using the light to, to light my face. I was a little dark. Uh huh. <laughs> but I did. I need to work on my lighting. It's soon. I mean, it's really affecting my ability to see what I'm working on. Yeah, my my husband's gonna get another light because I have a a big fluorescent above me here two by two or two by four I don't, I, yeah but it has two lights in it yeah I, I see a lot of people do like spongy stuff like that i like i gotta do some scratches yes and that fluorescent is horrible to work under i am actually under a fluorescent but it has a it's like a it's a weird kind i don't know it's got like a cover on it's for it's on my it's really not my source of light, though. It just basically is your source of lighting up the room. But I have to get some new lights. I am not able to see anything. I, I have an odd light, but it's a small one. Mm -hmm. And then I use an itty bitty ring light right here. Yes. So I have to I have to use all kinds of lights to be able. Yeah. And then I have to turn on my kitchen light on. Okay, let me see. I, okay, so are you having trouble with your ring light on your glasses? Mine's great. This hates my glasses. I have an itty bitty one, it's like three inches. Okay, but I would still probably get that highlight on my glasses and it looks terrible. But I also have the um, anti glare, but you still get a little glare. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm all getting caught up in my work again, just playing with these. But I have so, oh, our old Oregon Zan is here. Hi, thanks for joining us. So today, what we did was we worked on Valentine's Day stuff. And I did a truck. This is a Dollar Tree Christmas truck where I took the Christmas tree out and it was broken anyway. And I made dark carts. This is my dark cart delivery truck because my truck's my, my <laughs> not fearful. <laughs> but I do a lot of weird techniques and it was just gave me a great, what I call it, a, not a palette, it's a canvas to work on. Mm -hmm. So I can do some really cool, dark, fun stuff. And this was another thing. I just, as we were sitting here playing around, I just got met more and more, uh, had more fun with this. So this is a combination of pencil and just lots of paints and scratching. And I do have like a little thing over there. I see I need to fix charcoal. Bye, Whatever Steve, I've got. Whatever's handy. Hmm? I said bye, Steve C. Oh, bye, Steve. Thanks for being here. We enjoyed it. Love, Thank love, you. Having, love having you here coming. So, um, yeah, so this is a lot of fun to work with. And, I, you know, we got kind of caught up in all the cuteness of everything. Yeah, not everything's cute. You can have some fun with some dark. But it definitely teaches you some techniques. I hope you can use on something else. Maybe not Valentine's. But something. It might be just the thing you need to learn. To do something different. Do something different. I'll be good in a, in a uh, junk journal on a page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stick, stick this thing down or a photo of it. Oh, I need to do some scratching. I want to find something really metallic to do some serious scratching. What do I have? I have some dental tools. like And really carve. Because I, I think this wood stuff would really, I could carve really down into the wood on this. And that could be fun. Yeah, that's some serious scrapes going on. <laughs> it just, oh, if I don't scrape my own hand off. So it does give you that... Um, this one's going to be seriously disturbed, I think. Yeah, this was the one I was trying to do. The um, um, This is the warped one, by the way. I was trying to do the thing. It just didn't work. I didn't like the technique I used. So one of the things that I do, and I'm going to show you all this real quick. I'm going to bring this up in my video as well. I want to do my plaid. I love doing this weird technique. I've done on other things. You need a flat brush. And this is going to be very hard to control. So you can, if you're trying to do something that you really you want to kind of have that loss, 
lack, you know, doesn't have a lot of control to it. So you load up the side of your brush and then you kind of hit your thing at about a 45 degree angle and you're basically scraping the paint off. But see, you're getting this ridge. Oh, um, that's cool. You see the side view? Let me see. Is it showing up? Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So you just take your paint and go around. And like I said, you just kind of hold your brush sort of at a 45 and just pull that paint off. And it gives this look like it's um, kind of soldered. Does that make sense? Especially mm -hmm. since this is aluminum that comes to mind. Or just covered like maybe a gold trim around it. But very soldered, very rough. You cannot control it. You try all you want. It's going to do what it do. Mm -hmm. You know? Let me kind of get a good load up on there. So I love doing this technique. And that's what I did on my, oh, y'all, my fingers look worse than my hearts. Uh -huh. And that's what I did on this. And I created like a little ring around it so that I could put the stuff in there. Unfortunately, like I said, I got some bubbles. Oh, right. I, that's, that's you see the idea. Yeah, so it kind of created like a little uh, edge. Kind of framed it in. A little Let's little it dry, dry. So you got to set it aside, let it dry overnight. Quit playing with your stuff. You got to let it go. Is it, you leave it that color or you paint over it? I'm going to leave this the silver. And this is, this is actually the uh, weird color. So it's like a metal. It's just called, um, I think it's just brushed metal by plaid at uh, fuck art oh yeah my camera okay. went off again yeah so it's this brand and that they sent me with their and it's kind of cool because it's more brushed metal than silver it doesn't have that sparkle in it you know it's really kind of a flat silver but it looks really good like i said i have no control sometimes of where it goes to get this really irregular edge and sometimes Hi, billy you, thanks for coming yes billy thank you some of the things you do that you really didn't have the control over it come out more interesting Okay, so one thing I want you to do, a little exercise for your book, is to mm -hmm. draw with your other hand. I've done that. I love doing that. That is like one of my favorite things to do. It's very freeing, very frustrating, but you got to let it go. You know what I mean? You'll let mm -hmm. it, you'll start noticing you have these wonderful loose lines and what happens with those lines. And you're like, oh, I need to use that with my other hand, you know, I need to relax my hand more or tighten my hand more or whatever it is to get some of those effects. Bye, Liz. Hope you have a good day. Bite it off now. We're done. Yes, we're about <laughs> done. Yeah, we went a long time because we're busy. I'm busy showing stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like done. I always love it when I get a bunch of stuff done, you know? I did. For some oh, reason, God. this must take you longer to, go, to dry. Yes, that is one thing. It does take longer when you have to factor in that the drawing into it. Yeah. And, what, and that is a thing on live that I think we run into. You better have a couple of extra things where you say, well, oh, wait, if I start messing with this and this is wet, I'm going to have trouble. So yeah, that's why I, I started doing the, the crochet hearts while that dried. Mm -hmm. You have a, that was a really good, that was a pro, very good project. It worked out really well. We just talked a lot. We showed a lot. We had to show some more stuff. <laughs> Played a lot, but that's okay. Let us show you. That's what just the lives are for. It's just to kind of fill some time, let people pop in and out and enjoy, just checking in, see what we're doing. Or if you're like me, I love watching lives while I'm crafting. I'm sorry if I'm on any of your lives and I'm not responding. It's usually because I'm. Thing. This is what my hands are doing, and y'all, I have paint all. I have a cover for my um, keyboard. I still have paint on it though. I need to go clean my little keyboard cover off. I, I got paint over my keyboard too. Mm -hmm. So there is. And, and um, so I'm coming back now. I'm just trying to paint that edge. With I think lives also help people know, get to know you better. Oh yeah. Versus um, just you know watching a video. Right. Right. That's exactly. Right. Okay. So we'll let that dry. But it looks like a bad icing on a cookie. That is so cool. It, it's kind of interesting. I, I like doing it. I've done several. In fact, I did a lot of them this time that, that are like this. For I think my, if I have a small heart, I, I might try that. Now, I don't think I, I would do it. Like on that one, it worked. But I wouldn't want to do it to this one because I kind of like that clean edge on this mm -hmm. one. So sometimes it works. Sometimes it's not ideal. But I got to do Because I have some of that glossy accents of, to see how that works out. Mm-hmm to cover by i'd scrape some paint off of it because i had um the, the rest of the epoxy i had right I gave to my dad because he's doing a, a train town with, with his oh uh, um, wow yes and he's building it um, by hand himself so he's going to use that um epoxy for a pond that he's mm -hmm. making 
Well, that is going to be beautiful. Yeah, what did people do before we had that? Were they using epoxy for those things, those little projects, or what? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'll put some more red in this. I just feel like I'm I used to do the tumblers, but for some reason, either the 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 epoxy that I got mm -hmm. or the turner that I had, it was for some reason giving a lip on the tumbler, and I was trying to fix it, and, and it wouldn't fix it. I tried two different turners. Right. So I, I said no more, but I do like doing the epoxy on a flat surface, mm -hmm. like that ch chessboard. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know how you would do that on a curved surface. It would just run off, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, some of, some of it runs off. Right. But not a lot, because hmm. it keeps on turning. Okay. So I guess, the, I guess the momentum of the turning keeps it on. It only drips a little bit at the beginning. Oh, I see. It's the machine that does it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah saying yeah but i did like um that mold that um sarah had mm -hmm. um can, can sarah deal why it right she got that um paint palette mold it's so cool now what do you do with that one um it's it's a, a silicone mold that you pour the epoxy in mm -hmm. but you said paint palette it, it, it looks like a paint palette oh okay i need to go back and look at that does she have that on the live to day or when was that the other other night she she did a video on sunday yeah oh, okay with the small creator sunday okay uh, okay all right and then she showed another one today doing tiffany's live okay that she made with dried flowers wow so, so i'm um, i'm coloring over my clear i would not have thought this would have taken so well but it did so another trick with the watercolor is you can like you can get them damp and they do a really good job on your uh just for pops of color here and there if you don't mm -hmm. want yeah so i had to clean up where i'd uh, well that was all that just a little piece of area where i kind of scuffed up the paint i did all that to fix it mm -hmm. yeah i have like an edge here i don't like Bye, grace nice to meet you too thank you for coming I need some more black on here. I'm just, I could never, I could you not you, ever, you got, I never get done. Cause I'm just like, I need this. It needs that. It needs you, got, this. you got some black on your fingers. Oh, I know. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I roll girl. Uh, most paint is on me. More paint on me than on the work I'm doing. Yeah, me too. I still have um, wax on my hands. Yeah. This one has like a bad blob of paint on it. I can't seem to get off. Oh yeah. I used to have like wipes and I kept handy. Uh, they used them up, never re replaced them, but it is nice to have something to wash your hands on every now and then. Yeah, yeah. I had some and I ran out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just kind of made that edge darker. That, that's how often I have to clean my hands. Yes, check it out. I'm part of my art. A little DNA. And, and, in and you know that I'm lazy because the, 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 the sink is like five feet away. That's why I know you're, and mine's right there. Let me see how many feet is that. Yeah, I gotta walk around the table. I gotta go all the way around my table to get to it. It's so far. Uh, I'm gonna show you these fancy crochet hooks that I ordered. Oh, yeah. Look at this one here. How Look can it be? Uh, wait, what in the world? That's a dolphin. It is. Is that, did somebody do that with, um, with polymer clay oh, that is a door now you can see do here's a, the, whole, the whole hook you can do that yes that is really cute is it I've, I've, I've made one with a minion on it yeah are they com more comfortable with those on them some some of them are but th this one is just for for show oh okay because <laughs> it's, it's it's back heavy because um, of the dolphin yeah, i can stand yeah. this yeah. one is, is not that bad uh-huh that's pretty now that one is pretty i was thinking the um is that one house on Oh, and, it, and then this one has flowers now i do like those i would that's a good idea actually that's a really good idea i'm talking about making them more comfortable for you to hold yeah you can actually use polymer clay to make because it would fire you know what i mean whatever you put them in the oven it won't they're metal they'll be fine some of the plastic yeah. ones i wouldn't do i don't really like i have a few plastics because of the size but i mostly get i mostly get metal i just picked up some thrifting and since i didn't have the size i kept them but i do i prefer this, them this is the only plastic one i have 
but it has a nice handle too. And it reminds me of, okay, you know, and I'm thinking that reminds me of toothbrush handles. Why can't you just take a toothbrush handle? I think I've seen people do that. And they drill a hole into it and mm -hmm. stick it mm -hmm. That may be a good solution because I know as we get older, it gets kind of harder to hold on to those little suckers. And I've tried these lighted ones, but they, they don't pull out of Oh, well, see, that makes so much sense. Lighted is brilliant. But you don't like them or what? It's, it's, I don't know if you can, there you oh go. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Well, I, I try not to work in the dark, but that is brilliant. It's good when you're working with black yarn. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I need lighted needles so I'm sewing on black. Hey, Deb, that great show today, Lace. Thank you. Um, that, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we, we got, I got to play in again. I, got, I know. I got to quit playing. So I've got two of my hearts. I just got one more heart to do, but it's wet. So I'm having some trouble. <coughs> me. I gotta get rid of that. That thing is covered with wet paint. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've made an a, appropriate little mess for my day because that's like how we do things around here. And got some hearts done. Got some dark hearts done. That was the best part. And we got a beautiful heart. That you will go when when are you going to do this again? You tell I'm gonna announce when you're gonna be on to, to on show. Saturday at four o'clock. Okay. I'm doing the auction. Now, how are we going to work that out when we see you? we got to work that out. How yeah. far are you How far are you from down that uh, center? Oh, I forgot about that. No. I'm, I'm, about, thir I'm about 30, 30 minutes south. we got to do it. Yeah. So we got to. Um, well, I, I can. I can hey, it's, it's my channel. I can change the time. You can. <laughs> they will let you do that. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I haven't posted it so it, uh -huh. just, oh well, perfect you can do that then let's just because you are, are you gonna start doing a regular live I'm do I'm gonna do one every, the first Saturday of the month mm -hmm. where, where I redecorate my little living room oh cute idea for every for every holiday right like in the, the, the yeah, first Saturday that, the that was mm -hmm. gonna be um Valentine that'll be great I like it. I like it a lot. And once I get, you know, more used to, you know, more comfortable, then I'll do more. Mm -hmm. Not that hard once you get used to get all get past all the stuff that goes wrong. Because boy, does <laughs> little weird things happen. So once mm -hmm. you get over that part, you're good. I always have a backup plan. I think is your other thing with your craft. Yeah, I started to do this, but and do this is good. <laughs> Cause that's gonna take me three. Oh, wait a minute, this took three hours, but anyway, it's fun. It is fun. It is. I like, yeah, I like not having an it's end. Like, oh, well, I'm gonna say this real quick because I like not having an end, and it did take us we're over our three hours now because I was so stressed trying to do the ones in an hour, I mm -hmm. was not enjoying it. And I and I love the people who do it, I do try to watch those, but I personally did not function at my best. I've got enough stuff going on in my life. Because you're I trying to rush it. Make up my best, you know. It was not highlighting my creativity the way I needed it to. More my stress. More my stress. I think yes. that's what happened to me, too. On my first did, one. Did you do any of those, the one hour? You did. Yeah, my first one was with, oh, with yeah. the hour. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm here trying to rush at other steps mm -hmm. to get most of it on there. But, and then, my, you know, it didn't, didn't glue on right. It didn't. Right. Yeah, and it's not it's not so much the problem, it's that the rush. I mean, if you were just yeah. doing it like your own show, it would be different because you would like, well, that's not working. Well, I'll just change over to this. But when you're done, when you have a time limit, it was harder. And so I applaud those who can pull it off. Yay. You get my big yeah. applause. You're right? you're already crafting, so why not show everybody else what you're crafting? Mm-hmm. Yes, but it's it's just harder to try to uh, squeeze it into an hour because I I got no control. Yeah. Of time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, everything I think is gonna take me too. Even if I'm throwing something together like this heart, this one heart, yeah, I will get I get all caught up in it and go, hey, but if I did this, well, when when I did um the crafters um the crafty mm -hmm. creators, yeah, community, was, yeah, when I did that I one hour, years now I do remember it. Mm -hmm. I I didn't know it was gonna take me that long to do those leaves. And then to weave that garland. Right. And it's I'm the thinking, little things. Yeah. You know, you're I'm like, thinking, I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is a, you know, easy project. Uh-huh. 
Well, that's when I was doing that thing, uh, that garland the other day. I was like, why is this taking me so long to string this goofy garland? But it was because uh, the yarn was, I mean, the, what I was using to string, it was so difficult to work with. Oh, yeah. Sweet monster. And it kept spraying and it kept locking, you know, get balled up on me. I was so I think mad. the more that um, we do um, lives, the more we know what, what we can do. Like The reality of the live. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, had a, I had a few subscribers say, "I'm glad you showed showed all your book your your oops." Yes, well because there are the you know what, and I think I, that would be a really good. Oh, we need to have a, the oops channel, you know the uh, oops, <laughs> oops collaboration. We know you got them, and did you quit on it? You know those who really stuck with it and said, "Okay, yeah, that didn't work," but I'm going to keep trying and and trying to make you know something. I'm going to make a I'm going to make this silk purse out of the cells here. I'm going to make this. <laughs> The, the, the project I, I made for the mystery box mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna leave in um all the different ideas that i that i i, I used right right that's gonna be fun because i like, actually love it just pop out that way well you know i watch them and i go i, I would have done i meet somebody did one one time i said oh i totally went there oh it was the craziest thing it was actually one that robin was in where she sent the money the coin holders like for, you oh know, yeah I thought tree immediately. And that's what the person did. I went, oh, well, there you have it. Brilliant. So she made it. But my tree was, I had a different idea for the tree well, she than, had, than the way she did it. But it's still, I mean, you do, you watch their things, you see their stuff and you go, oh, I think I would have tried this. That's interesting. Hmm. I think I think that the, one, the girl that sent me the package. Yes. I think she went easy on me. She did? Oh, no. Yeah. I think. Well, you know what means that means it means you got to work a lot harder at making it awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was able to use all five items into one. Okay. So we'll see if anybody else thinks is as, as, as yeah. What is it going to get? So you know, I made this, and I'm kind of highlighting some in red. Wow, when I look at it, that is a hot mess. And when I look at it, <laughs> look at this. Instead of what it, you could do, this on the back on the uh -huh. on the opposite side. I love that. I love that really. Is that the same size you use on the front? No, no. It, this has an extra yeah. row. I like that. Yeah, that looks really cute, just like that too, though. That looks really sweet. So it, it could be a highlight. Mhm. Mhm. I just thought of that. That is cute. 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 I, I got 120 of those little squares that I got from um, Panda Hall Selected. Right, and I bet you're gonna be doing a lot more crafty stuff with those too, aren't oh, you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, got, I got my blades for my scroll saw. Mm hmm. Exciting. Hmm. Now that needs to be. Blurry. Excuse me. So I need to do just some more real quick. I'm gonna do some real quick stuff with this so I can be done with it. I don't know if I want to do. It. I'm gonna do some charcoal. So if you missed that thing earlier, I did with the with the silver paint. I can't touch it now because it's all a mess. I will be doing that technique in my. Uh, I mean, if I pick it up, I will mess it up. But I'll be showing more about that in my video. And you've got videos coming up because I think you're okay. So you're doing the yarn and you're doing the pla not doing plaid right now. No, but no, no. we are doing uh, the yarn one. So. And I am looking forward to that one as well. So if anybody wants to, let's see later. Oh, bye, Billy. Let's see. Deb saying great. So I think we're going to wrap it up because people are just getting tired of us. No, they got to get on. They're cooking dinners and things like that. We're going to let them. And I'm just going to kind of. Ta-da. Anyway, so that was three. Oh, cool. That's number four, actually. Oh, my gosh. I did a lot today. They'll be in my video. Just, just about this one because that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, more technology to figure out. Well, I, Nance, take I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this with you. You are always so much fun. You, you're oh, such man. A, you contribute so much, and I really enjoy doing that with you. You're you're bright and cheerful and fun to work with, and you are an amazing artist and do some incredible Thank stuff. You. And let me say, she's a great guest, people. So if you have lives and you have guests, <laughs> I bet Nancy's available. You should give her a call. Or send her a message. I bet she can hook you up. And I would like to be on people's as well. But if you would like to be on one of mine, by all means, I'm just dying because I can't stand this black not being here. I gotta, I gotta do it, guys. I got to do it. 
I had one more. Um, please, by all means, if you are a creator and you want to join me in a live, I go Tuesdays at 2 Central Time and I go 6.30 on Thursdays. And I do that at 6.30 because, you know, I have friends going on at all these different times. What I had noticed was a lot of people were doing, um, uh, were doing collaborations at 6 o'clock. And their 6 o'clock things were about 10 to be whatever, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And I didn't want to miss there. So that's why I set mine in the 6.30. And then, you know, helping it went in. Yeah. And typically, that just runs as long as it runs. I've learned my lesson. It's just one of those shows. But, hey, it gets me in the studio. And it gets me crafting. You need to be crafting, too. Right? Right. Yep. So join me. So, yeah, if you'd like to be contact me via my um, Instagram, which is somewhere in my just about me stuff. Anything you want to say, Nancy? No, about, that's it. I had so fun. Nancy's going to start having her own live, and she's going to have a guest too, right? You don't have guests sometimes? I don't know. Maybe, yeah, yes. Maybe. Sure. Once you start doing a few and you get kind of bored, you're like, I need guests. <laughs> I'm going to talk to yeah. someone. <laughs> and it's always good to have somebody actually read the comments, which we get behind on. Oh, it's hard to keep up with the comments. And it's hard when you're typing and talking and, and you're having fun. And it's all about having fun. I hope you all had fun as well. So thanks for watching. If you have a, a goodbye that you want to say, what do you say to your group when you say goodbye on your channel? I say be brave, be strong, and create. I love that. And I say <laughs> hit that notification button because sometimes I make pretty good videos and live streams <laughs> and, you know, sometimes not. But we're just going to say, anyway, thanks for watching. And please hit like and subscribe to one of our channels. If you're not a subscriber, which I think most of you are, but if you haven't one or the other, hey, go check out our channels and maybe you'll like it as well. Anyway, bye.